Hey guys, it's Fia back at it again with another Twitch VOD because what on earth else would I be uploading? I don't have time to edit anything. Actually, what else would you like to see on a, like apart from VODs? I've been suggested like clip compilations and things like that. And maybe one day I'll have enough time to stitch things together. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, but it's heartbreaking, man. It's a shorter stream. Tuesday is usually an off day. Heartbreak farming. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you can check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. Add slash schedule to that if you'd like to see things in your time zone. I usually start 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, though. Um, and uh, drop me a follow on the socials as well. I post lots, like, lots. <laughs> I'm trying to grow my Instagram at the moment, but there's also a Twitter, a Facebook, and a TikTok if uh, any of those take your fancy. Hopefully, I will see you next time in chat. See you then. Yes, it will absolutely drop today. Hi. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Uh, where is everyone? Oh, I forgot to empty that. Whoops, it's fine. Uh, I saw a message before I went live. Where is it? Who else is confused by the 6 p.m. start, even though it's the schedule below, and Fia specifically told us about it last night? Me too, dude. Me too. I'm like, it's 5.30. Why am I not streaming? I'm not meant to start until 6... It, yeah, it's the weirdest sensation, like, ever. Ever. It's weird. It's strange. Um, and also, with Nutty, uh, no comment, of course. <laughs> uh, what up, chat? Uh, look, I'm... Um, yeah, so I um I replaced my router today. Finally installed the the router that my dad sent me. Um, so that will be with well, today is the the big test to see how uh, that goes. Hopefully we don't have any dropouts. Obviously I'll need to run with it for like weeks before like I can say it's it was the router and we're good now. Uh, but hopefully fingers crossed that's that. Hopefully we don't have any more. Um, fuck arounds, but one way to find out, and that's to keep playing. Um, uh, yes, where am I up to? Uh, well done, Zam on first, Yori with last, Dupe with second, Seeker also attempting with second, but then with third. Uh, <laughs> 29th for Koala. Hope everyone had a safe, productive day. Honestly, yeah. I went for a walk. I went for a walk. I left the house. I eczemasized. And I feel fucking good about that. I feel like shit, but I feel good about the fact that I exercised. Uh, story time! At six, I had a freak out moment. Oh, bonus stream! Must jump on. I'm late, so I log on and no stream on phone. My brain, fear is one hour in. Must have Mount Got! Squee! Rush to computer only to notice I'm a dingleberry. Things to note. I have a one hour time difference. So fear usually starts at my 5 p.m. Two, schedule clearly states Fear starts two hours later than normal, so just very early. Great opportunity to catch up on quality social media content. Fantastic Seeker. Seems like there are several of us who are feeling the wonky with the random fucking stream times. You know what's gonna be really weird? When I go live at midday my time on Friday. I'm gonna be late because I guarantee you I'm going to forget that I'm supposed to be live. It would be fantastic. Uh, <laughs> um, Thread to Ice, well done. Fantastic, and thank you so much for dropping the socials link, Seeker. Everyone, go follow me on the social media. All the things, just do it. Trust me, it costs you nothing, and it, it could legitimately net me hundreds, if not thousands, of eventual dollars. Um, and you want full-time fear, right? That's, that's the thing that you want. Yes, do that. Dragons be fucking, they do indeed. Uh, sunny Brisbane is rainy AF today. Yeah, the, the sky looked angry when we went for our walk, um, but it it held off. We, we were we were okay, which was really nice of it. Um, apparently it, the universe wanted me to get some movement in. I Look, I wouldn't go so far as to call it exercise, uh, but it was a medium, it wasn't a casual stroll, but it wasn't like a power walk either. It was just like a, a medium paced, walk. It was really nice. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it was good. Uh, Shiba with the Shiba, come on. Hello. 
We were day eight. How was your very first week of streaming on Twitch? Well, Ellery, it was just wonderful. It was the best week of my life. <sighs> Kek. Oh, <laughs> hello, nurse. Welcome back. Last is already on cooldown X. Oh, well. 69th for X it is indeed. Um... With a boogie as well, and through his uncle down, all of the hydrate. Hello, Kaz, and definitely, yes, all of the hydrates, X. Thank you very much for that. Enjoy your lurk. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. Backspace is just lock. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit that way. Oh no, just too late. I think Diesel is meaty. I think Diesel is meaty. Wait, I'm not sure. No, maybe not. Trilluid, Emma. I don't know. Maybe it is. I brain brain gusplat, brain gusplat. Um, you most liquidated her. Ah, uh, you added one on the end. Uh, oh, captions. Shit. See, this is why the bot exists. <laughs> Fuck. I feel really bad now. Apologies to everyone who uses captions. My my um my sincere apologies. Uh, that's my fuck up. Uh, also, yeah. Hello, fairy. And not completely late. No, definitely not completely late. Me, on the other hand. Always. Uh, 69th, will it drop today? Yes. Yes. My center Skyman! Oh, grats, Ice! Well done! 66 attempts. Not too bad. Not too bad. Is it, it's a, is it a 1 in 100? I'm in combat. I feel like that one's a rarer one. Or, but it might just be because it's a pain in the ass to summon the rare. Um. So now you get this. Or... It, as the case may be. Indeed. Look, I would very much like for it to drop. Because I would like to finish stream early and go to bed today. I'm, uh, I am tired. But that's, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Why did the cowboy get a dashin so he could get a long little doggy? I don't get it. I feel like this is, like, cowboy language that is just going straight over my head. I, I'm so sorry, Pickle, but welcome in. I hope that you're well. Warlock. Uh, I feel a long time to see. I know it's been like forever. It's been forever, Zam. Less than 24 hours. So long. <laughs> Remember, I just like getting here early. Of course. Of course, I also like getting here early. And I get here early and then shit goes wrong every time. So look, it's just, it's fine. Today, when I joined my, um, my work meeting on Zoom, I went to turn my camera on and I was like, oh shit, it's really dark in here. I should turn my key lights on. I turned my key light lights on using the Wi-Fi, which is now different because I have a different router. So I had to sit there for the first 10 minutes of the meeting reinstalling my key lights <laughs> so luckily i didn't have to do that tonight um i've just realized that my other lights are completely fucked though uh one moment please uh all the lights um you please no not that button this one why does it need a refresh oh actually they might be busted too Yeah, it's not gonna be able to talk to them because they're on the wrong shit. Um, fuck. They're just, they're just not talking. They're just not talking. Hmm. Yep, unreachable. I have to set them up again. settings. God, that's gonna suck. Um... Okay, no, I guess not. Um. <laughs> n n not near enough. Okay, that's fine. I have to go hold my phone next to the lights. Um, shit. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> G 
Good. Um, well done, you. Yay, fear. Yes, walk. I know. I know. I went for walkies. Exercising when you feel poop is amazing. Yeah. It, and just like understanding where you're at and just taking your time with it is, yeah, it's like. <gasps> I just realized I deleted the. Does that mean it's going to delete all my fucking lighting patterns as well? It fucking better not. It fucking better not have. Oh, I'm gonna be so angry. I'm gonna be so fucking angry. We're gonna find out in a minute. How are you? I'm doing all right, I think. Hopefully. We'll see. I might end up spending, a, like I'm almost caught up on my to-do list as well. I'm doing so fucking well. And if I've just erased my entire lighting setup I'm going to have to spend the entirety of tomorrow doing that and I'm going to be behind on my to-do list again and I'm going to be very, very pissed. Very pissed. ATT Social Media Edition. Exactly. Still in the pre -sport. Already 42 in a dungeon group. Oh, amazing, Yuri. Well done. Come to WA. It's bloody hot here. No, thanks. I'm good. I don't want hot, I want it cooler. I want it to be cooler. Diesel is meaty, ah, amazing. Thank you, meaty, thank you for confirming. I thought so, I wasn't too sure. 34 today, remember? Yep, yeah, number 34 today. That was three. That was three out of 50. So drop right or not, one in three, 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 three. Connect. Is that it connecting? Okay. No. Hair. Yeah. God damn you. Do a barrel roll. Anyway, um, everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Mm -hmm. Accessory isn't shown here. Into the setup code that came with the ah uh, shit. Uh, discovery mode. It was in discovery mode. Reset accessory. You know what? It's gonna it's gonna be pretty soon. Okay, where's No, that's not what I want. No. 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 Shit, this is gonna take a while. No! Where? Wrong. Fuck's sake. And that'll do. That's what it was on before, I think. Ugh. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so pissed. Um, thank you. Ah, uh, I just, I don't even know what I'm... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go from the beginning and set these up. God damn it. All right. All right, that's fine. It's 5% allegedly. Oh, the Ascended Sky main. Gotcha. 
It's a drop rate on it. Uh, CT6 is three times the average. Oof. Rough. One little doggy is a classic cowboy line. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I did not know that at all. Infinitesimal. Yeah, uh, for the Heartbreaker, infinitesimal. For Ascended Sky Main, not infinitesimal. Um... Yeah, I didn't. I I don't know anything about cowboys, so I didn't get the whole common line thing. That's okay. Uh, smart, but not smart enough to swap connections there. No, apparently not. You didn't name the Wi-Fi with the same password. I did. I absolutely did. Not the same password. I named it the same, but the password on this one is set. Physically. This is a fancy router. <laughs> uh, but oh well. Uh, do you do that? Oh, wow, in like 100 years, classic, almost up to date. Ah, uh, I play retail. It's referred to as retail, Freddy, but welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. They may be still in the cloud. They fucking better well be. Excuse me. What are you doing? Calm your shit, please. Thank you. Good lord. Um. Uh, we'll be pissed with you, good. 38 degrees again. Oof. Connect, we command thee. Yep. Basically. Just sound that too. <laughs> I like your top, classy. Hang on, give me a second. I remember, I've forgotten the thing. One moment. I had something to tell you. Uh, one moment, please. And fuck, go faster. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, this is from Rumple Claws. It's it's packages arrived. I have packages today. Uh, so my bubble tea arrived yesterday. This is uh, my order from YesStyle via, well, via Throne. Not my order. Throne's order for me from YesStyle. Um, so a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. I got, there are three shirts like this. There's this grey one, there's a white one, and there's a pale pink one. The other two are entirely, like, too see-through. Uh, I, I'm wearing a coloured bra today, and I'm like, oh, nope, not those ones. Uh, <laughs> um, there's also a, a rib knit, two rib knit tops, one that's in white and one that's in dark green. Even the dark green one's a little bit see-through, so I need like a skin tone bra for that one. And, 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 and the mini A-line dress that has the little cap sleeves that V bought, that's from V Dane, and the jewelry box that Nano bought me. All of that, all, all of those arrived in a big box today. And then about an hour or so later, the thing went again. I'm like, what? I'm not expecting another delivery. That was the only delivery I was expecting today. And my bookie book arrived from Kay. So I got lots of presents today. I'm feeling like very awesome. So yes, I like it too. It fits really well. Like it fits perfectly and it just, it's nice. And yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, as the most technology, an assertive voice always helps. Also, liberal use of the word fuck, um, I've found. This queue is entirely too long. Oh, it's because we're too DPS. Right, okay, that's why. It's telling, it's it's put us in as too DPS. Um, Alright, I'm gonna join again. Because that's not... Um... Are you able to queue as tank? Because otherwise this queue is going to be like a long, long, long. See, it's like four minutes. Um, shit will die fast enough. Do you don't need to worry about that? But you, you like. Otherwise, we're going to be sitting here for ten minutes in queue. Um, and that's not that's not good when you've got fifty tunes. Um, Oh, you could have, yeah, it's okay. You can queue as both usually, but if you can queue as everything that's available to you, it tends to give us the fastest queues. Yeah, 58 seconds. Much better. Um, we'll see how that one goes. Um, my queue stuff is all cloud-based. Hopefully Nana leaves do the same. I fucking well hope so, because I had like 30-something lighting things set up for like when people cheer different amounts and when people follow and all that kind of stuff. Like it's, I do not want to redo all that. It will be a nightmare. So I've got still no coins. What the hell is going- You're not in like an incognito browser or something seeker, are you? Currency is definitely turned on. Um. Those are technical difficulties. It's got you at 306 hours. I don't know if that's going up or not, either. 
not too sure. Uh, who caused fear all the problems? Uh, no one has caused me problems except for myself. Um, well, except my old router. So I had my router that, and I've been having those disconnect issues for like weeks now, all the time, and it's really annoying. So my dad sent me his router um, because he's got a new fancy thing. Um, so he doesn't need his router anymore. And so he sent me his router and I installed it today. Um, and so because that's renewed, like the, the Mac address of the router and all that kind of stuff and the, the whole Wi-Fi has been like, all my, like my key lights and my Natalie's, everything that's connected on Wi-Fi is fucked. <laughs> Um, so I need to, I just need to re I, the setting up the key lights again was really, really easy, but, um, I'll need to finagle with the key lights. Um, I mean, the NanoLeaf app on the phone has, is like always forgetting that they, they exist. It always says status unreachable just randomly anyway. So it's not a good app to start with. Um, but I need it connected to the app to be able to use the, the follow alerts and stuff with it, which really sucks. Um, and you're out of yes. Uh, sorry, at the moment, health scare, my small dog thing's kind of halted, of course. Uh, blame the NBN, though. Indeed, indeed. Fear, obviously, only fear can cause fear problems. Not true. Not true. Put it all sketched out, ready to be lined and colored to rip. Oh, no. Oh, the emotes, right, gotcha. I'm like, what are we, huh? What are we talking about? But yes. Um, I reckon a fair few people have and can cause fear, more fear problems. Not that I wish that on her at all. I appreciate you not wishing them on me. Uh, thank you, Lil Gilbert, for the thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, much, much appreciated. Not sure why, but let's blame mommy anyway. Absolutely. Absolutely. We can, we can. I mean, sure. I'm, I'm technically a mod. Um, so... <laughs> uh, I'm just doing the best for you getting coins again. Fear just told us the password is set. It is. It is. Correct. Uh, they dance. The real question here is, are you up to scratch on your squatter lingo? What, like people who live illegally in houses? No? Is it physically set? It's one word. No spaces in passwords, Midi. <laughs> what was the brand again? Uh, what the fuck is a rib knit? Sounds like a sandwich. Um, it's a, no, it's a rib witch. Um, it's like, let me show you. So, like, uh, you might be able to see it better on the white one, uh, actually. So, I was trying to think if you'd be able to see it better on, on green or on white. Do you see the stripey things? The stripies, and then when you, when you stretch it, they, like, they stretch, like, it, it stretches along those lines. Um, and it, it kind of, because, because it shrinks down to quite skinny, the idea is that it kind of, it stretches over your curves and then fits in to, to the other curves, the reverse curves, and then stretches out over the other curves again. And yeah, so they just, they fit me really, really well because they just fit my body type. Fucking love rib knit clothing. It's great. Oh. Uh, what a day indeed. Same question a few weeks ago, X. So whole video like influencers do. Oh Lord. Uh, no, but we are gonna do some kind of photo shoot because I'm gonna post photos of myself wearing the clothings on places like the Instagram um, to say thank you to people, to be like, look, I got a present. Isn't it lovely? Thank you person. Um, and also because it means content and I struggle with content sometimes. Uh, I can't actually take that. No, that's fine, Meaty. Not a problem at all. Totally fine for you to not be able to actually tank. This kind of, these, these dungeons, like, the number of times I have accidentally not switched from resto to tank, and I have tanked as a fucking tree druid, it's, you don't need to. Shit dies fast enough. It's great. Here you go, I'm tanking as a rogue today. No, no need to worry at all. It's just about getting the faster cues. That's all it is. Um... Yeah, what is going on there? I don't know what's going on with, uh, with Koalatron there. Maybe if I turn it off and on again. Let me, let me, next time I'm in a queue, I'll turn it off and on again. There's an increase this earlier. Both went early at the same time. Now we're being penalized. Look, I would never say that, but yes. Mount, get, mount, get. Oh my God. Wait, what? Who, you got a mount. What did you get? Which mount did you get? What? I'm so... what? Oh, 
What? <laughs> Who got him out? Um. Dang, I can't fight. I have no coins. Oh no. I'm afraid that if I turn it off and on again, it will wipe everyone's coins. But I can try. Alternatively, I could just like close and restart the program, I guess. That'd probably be the safer one to do. Uh, no, squatter equals Australian sheep farmer. Oh, I did not know that. Mod on their ass. Not heard that one, Ice. Accordion shirt. Yes, correct. So bright, a white and light. I know I'm going to ban Qualitron. You can't suck it. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to go somewhere and the sun don't shine. Isn't it going up Zam's nose? All right, this is going to be me, not you. Me, not you. I'm just a growly sheep are coming for you. Wearing clothes is a good idea for a photo shoot. I approve of it. I mean, you can also wear not clothes for a photo shoot. That's okay too. To each their own. You just might get banned from Insta. Um, uh, I wanted you to get one. Oh, the last few seconds with the. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, you were wishing. Good. You were manifesting. Understood. I was like, who got the fucking mount? What the fuck? I was. I also thought that maybe I had accidentally left the mount on another tune, but I'm fairly sure Rarity would have yelled the fuck out, like, screamed at me. Uh, middle winter sun doesn't shine anywhere. Who got a mount and why aren't they sharing? I'm your hype person. You are, and I love that. I was just, it was because I'm so far behind on chat. Well, I'm not too far behind now, but like, I was like, what? Where? <laughs> it frightened me. <laughs> uh, where is the sun in the nose? Look, it's somewhere. Uh, it was not, uh, it was us, not you. Sure. Absolutely. Wanting appreciated. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, dear. There we go. Chatbot finally launched. Just give it a hot, a hot minute to actually connect and stuff. It's an oldish term. Board game based on my mother going to travel the world and visit Australia in the early 70s. There you go. There you go. All right. Give it. Try it. Try your coin test now and just see how much you've got. And then, like, give it 10 minutes or so. Mass deforestation. Do you mean the Christmas tree? <laughs> is is that what this means? Yeah, okay, good. Except since it's a deforestation. Oh shit, I'm standing in crap. Because it's a deforestation, I'm gonna upside down it. Good. Uh, box. Bye. Um. Six down. Fuck, man. Half an hour in, we're six fucking down. Anyway, whew. I'm fun redeeming that, but not saying what it is. Good. I'm glad that you're enjoying making me very confused. Um, so I have this, I have this soda Bible. Oh no, my friend is dying. Say it with me. This is fear, not chat. Um. Soda maker Bible. So to make a flavor Bible, we bought strawberries and I already had vanilla uh, essence and sugar. So we're going to make strawberry vanilla soda. It's our first one from the book. I will report back when, when done. I actually have to find the fucking time to cook down half a kilo of fucking strawberries. So <laughs> it might take a while. Um, I have 14 sixties. I thought that was a lot. I've only got four sixties. I've only got four sixties. Everything else is either 50 or like, 51, 52, 54. Um, I don't have my Altaholic add-on turned on at the moment because I'm trying to make switching between them faster. But yeah, I have 50 characters total, a full account. Uh, the vast majority of them are level 50. Then I've got a couple at 51 because they've been dinging while they're doing these dungeons. And then a couple at 52, like maybe one at 53, one at 54, and then like four at 60. So yes, I hope you're having a lovely day, Star. Welcome on in. 
I think the Twitter picture from Mount Makeup missed one of the pictures. Only had the eyes open. It's because there's no Mount Makeup. No Mount Makeup today. It's a bonus stream day. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday are bonus streams. No Mount Makeup. That's why there's no eyes closed picture. Uh, this is, however, my Mellow palette. Um, this is, uh, so I've got Tiger's Eye, which is a matte shade in my crease. Then I've got Smoked Topaz, which is like a coppery orangey shade on the outer corner. And then Topaz, which is a yellow shade um, on the, the inner bit. But yeah, this is, this is uh, from Mellow Cosmetics, the Treasure Chest palette with whom I am affiliated. There is a link, and you can use code FIAMA15 for a 15% discount on your makeup purchases. I'm also wearing their blush. One of their blushes. It's called Pinky Promise, and it's fucking gorgeous. I've been wearing it non-stop since I got it, because it's just, it's the perfect shade for me. It's really good. Really, really good. Um, yes. Uh, should we all start connecting, disconnecting our devices every time she says it's not us? Yes. Yes, you absolutely should. It's so crazy, way more time. It took me, um, so I had 24 of them because I started with, um, I started with 12 tunes in Legion that were max level, uh, because I did, uh, a legendary campaign. So, like, one of each class. Uh, so that was the 12. Then, um, in the BFA pre-patch event, I started leveling a mage because I wanted to experience the Alliance's side of War of Thorns. Um, but at the last second, I realized I wasn't going to make it in time before the event finished. Um, so I switched tactics and leveled a Demon Hunter instead because it was a hell of a lot quicker. Um, and so I ended up with two Alliance and 12 Horde. Then Allied Races happened and I unlocked all of them and then leveled one of each up to level 50 or whatever the 110 or whatever the fuck it was because that like achievements so that means i had 17 horde and seven alliance so 24 tunes total then i was like i want the fucking heartbreaker wouldn't it be good if i had 50 tunes so i could do 50 attempts a day and then everyone in chat was like oh my god you should do that and i'm like hmm, i wonder if i actually could at that time i had so i needed 26 to get me to get me to the the 50 and I had a look at my my calendar, and I had about 27 weeks before Heartbreaker events started, before Lovers in the Air started. So I was like, I could do a tune a week. They don't take that long. I could do a tune a week. So I decided to start my Fears 50-50s challenge back in uh, towards the end of June last year. It took me seven months to level up this, the 26 tunes. I didn't do a whole shitload of leveling. I was just doing like a bit here and a bit there sort of thing, um, but I got there. And we made it a week before the deadline. A whole... No, was it one week or two weeks? I feel like it was two weeks before the deadline. Because it was the end of January when we got there. During a marathon... No, it wasn't during the marathon stream. It was the day after. It was the Sunday. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It took me seven months to level the 26 tunes up to 50. Just 50. Um, yeah. Fun times with fear. Mm, good evening, Trud. Hello, all of the hype. This will keep my pale bronzy brown mounts. Oh no! White stallion then. Beautiful colours. Always love shimmery nudes. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. And these ones are definitely more like yellow and golden toned rather than because a lot of them you get like they're bronze or copper or like silvery, like like champagne. You know, they've always got that bit of pink to them. But these ones are like yellow. Like they've got that yellow base in them and they're really, really lovely. Um, but yeah, gorgeous. And they apply like a dream. They're like, I did not spray my, my brushes with, with setting spray before I put this on. And they're just like, they're so, they're just so shimmery. They're, oh, they're beautiful. Um, 15th anniversary alabaster mats. It does you give those vibes. It does prepared. give those vibes. Crickets. Oh my God. Lovely. How are you? I saw you were streaming earlier. I didn't have time to drop in though because I was working today. How are you? Welcome on in, Raiders. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm Fear. It is lovely to meet you. Uh, I'm predominantly a World of Warcraft streamer, and this at the moment, the WoW has an event for Valentine's Day, and there's a mount that drops. It's like the rarest shiny you've ever bloody well heard of. 
the drop rate is 1 in 3,333. And it's ridiculous. So we're, we are essentially shiny hunting. Except in WoW. And it's a shiny that you can, like, ride on. So... It's a, it's a, it's a rocket and it's magenta. It's bright pink. It's called the heartbreaker because it breaks all of our hearts by not dropping. Uh, <laughs> how was your stream, Cricket? Welcome back. I'm going to try to really quickly catch up on chat. So there's, um, uh, now she realizes why this may not have been a sane choice running 50 daily. Yeah, no, I, um, I don't have any regrets. But I do feel like I may be in slightly over my head. And like, I will feel like I'm in over my head until it drops and then nothing else will matter. <laughs> that's, yep, that's where we're at. That's right. Okay, so restarting did not work. Uh, we're also trying to convince Fear to get 50 60s. Unsuccessfully, might I add. You are trying to convince me unsuccessfully. Hello, Matt. Hello, Sabine. Welcome on in, Mike, Sport, and Stumpy. Hello. Ah, all of the hype. Thank you so much, Sheepa, for the caster command. Welcome, readers, indeed. Welcome in. 750 attempts per year. Correct. I was on 850 before I started this year's runs. I was on 850. Hello, Balrog. Hello, Cricket. Dance party time. Ah, yeah. We have a dance party. Everyone can dance to the music in their heads. It'll be wonderful. It'll be great. Like those, you know, like the silent discos? You see people, like, people just, like, rocking out with sets of headphones on? It's a mate. Well, yes, also this. Hello, Shaq. Good luck. Thank you, Boomkin. Ah, uh, have a productive, safe, and fun day indeed. Hello, Phantom. Welcome on in. Hello, Shockwave. Oh, I'm excited for you to get the new mount. What does it look like? Ridiculous is what it looks like. If I type in Heartbreaker, this is what it- look at that. Look at it. Look at that mount. Complete with the zebra print. So yeah, that's- that's what we're trying to get. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, Lord, no regrets. Correct. Your makeup is always on point. Aw, thank you, X. Thank you so much. I have to say, like, having that mellow palette is making it a whole lot easier because I don't even have to think. Like, all the colors just work together. I just pick three, put them on my face, and we're done. Like, <laughs> it's so good. Uh, how long do you work on the mounts per day? Like, two hours. It's been closer to three. Um, what with fucking Q times and bullshit. Um, it's been closer to three hours a day. Uh, I'm trying to make sure we stay just, at least just under three, because that 15th day of attempts only lasts from 1am till 4am, so I've only got three hours to get all 50 tunes done. So I'm kind of, I'm honestly terrified. I'm hoping that there are enough community members willing to sacrifice a couple of hours of their time for me to get like those super fast cues and just knock them out and get them done. The the bigger part of me, however, is hoping I don't even have to, I don't even have to worry about it because it'll drop before then. Yes, um, we have a bet that it's going to drop on tune number thirty four today, um, and we're up to this is tune number nine, so we'll see. Uh, you have a spreadsheet. I have so many spreadsheets. What what is this spreadsheet about? What spread? Which spreadsheet are we talking about? I'm too distracted. I could see that one sketch. <laughs> um, uh, although you are unintentionally leveling them through the dungeon, so you may as well finish. Look, you. Maybe. Uh, oh, but yeah, I have a spreadsheet for getting them to 60. Yes, right. Good. Yes, okay. I, I'm on the same page as you now. Good. Wonderful. We got there. Brain just took a second to clock it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Would totally rock a silent disco. Yes, I. Oh my god. Cricket, can we? We have to. We have to. Oh my god, that would be so much fun. I would love to have a silent disco with you. <laughs> Pretty love rocket. I know, right? Yeah, it was. It was actually called the Big Love Rocket. Um, there have been some. There have been some issues at Blizzard. Um, there have been. There's, there's a lawsuit um, around uh, any unequal pay between men and women around sexual harassment that is uh, apparently rife at the California office of, of Blizzard Entertainment. Um, there's there's a whole, like, there's been a whole lot of stuff. And when all of this came to light, there were a whole bunch of changes, like cosmetic changes in the game. Uh, things like they changed the name of the Big Love Rocket to the X-45 Heartbreaker. There's a zone in World of Warcraft that was named after a person who was implicated in the lawsuit, so they changed the name of the zone, uh, as well as a whole bunch of stuff that referred to the zone. 
Um, there are paintings in a few zones that were uh, quite suggestive and or borderline lewd and they've changed those paintings. Like they've done, they've gone through and a lot of people were calling it just like token changes. Um, but from my perspective, the art team can't fix pay equality, uh, pay inequality. They can't, they have no control over that. That's HR. So the art team did what the art team could do in changing paintings in the game. Um, and, you know, the, the, each team, you know, did what they could and did what they felt comfortable doing to leave their mark on the game as being a more equal and better place. And I love that for them. I'm, I'm really glad that they were able to make the changes that they wanted to make, uh, that, that the, you know, head honchos above them allowed them to do so. I think that's wonderful. Uh, but yes, so that's uh, also uh, the Love Rocket is a sex toy. So that's a thing. Uh, yeah. When is your six year anniversary stream? February 26th. And I have a ton of stuff to give away. I have mount codes for WoW. I have pretty things from Logitech. I have some Twitch merch. I have some Bubble Tea Club stuff. I have some Mellow Cosmetics stuff. I have so much stuff to give away on the 26th of Feb. So be there or don't get presents. Your call. Like, it's really up to you. <laughs> uh, I think you put me as DPS. Okay, let's uh, let's redo that. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, yes, you got there. I did. If it drops before tune 34, you're still going to go through 34 tunes just in case it drops again. Huh? If it, no, if, no. If once it drops once, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> go away. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what kind of bubble tea would you have? What kind of bubble tea should we have, guys? First choice, milk or fruit? Milky or fruity? Oh, you got there. Uh, Discord chat. I'm in, had a COVID safe Discord clubbing night where we all just sent GIF emotes of things dancing. I love that. Ridiculous and cute. Did some other things too, like changing the whistle sound from a cat call type, which some more a heads up one. Yeah, there, there's a lot of little changes in there that really just make it a more like inclusive place. Uh, area three now, Dex is still getting completed. Just can't wait. Yes! Tie. Sheba says no, tie. No, 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 no. There's there's no no even questions. It's just tie. Yeah, so that's four for milk and two for fruit. Baby. And one for tie. <laughs> tie is counted in milk. Yeah, but that's also a flavor. Uh call in your pals to try out watching a stream, Twitch follow, follow on the socials. Yes! Oh my god. If anyone wouldn't mind like chucking me a follow on Instagram, I'm so my big my next big goal, I made partner, like June last year and it was it was my, like my biggest goal for literally the longest time was to make partner and now I have and I'm like well crap what's next uh what's next is full-time I would love to be a full-time content creator that would be a bloody dream come true and like 80% of brand deals which is money for bills like 80% of brand deals come from Instagram so if you wouldn't mind tossing me a follow on Insta uh I'm trying to grow my numbers there uh, while, of course, you know, playing around with different types of content and finding what works best. But I would love, I would love a, a follow or five. Apparently it's milk tea by Or 7,000. Milk tea by a single vote. Uh, it'd be lovely to hit over 1k before June. That'd be, oh, come on, absolutely. We're at 895 last I checked, so that's like 105 follows. We can do that in six months. Milk well, tea it is. Four months, surely. The pomegranate. Uh, we don't have pomegranate tea, I don't think. We've got peach, passion fruit, grapefruit, and lychee, and grape. I think we have some grape left um, at the moment in terms of fruit tea. And then milk tea, we've got um, uh, Thai, strawberry, honeydew, some gingerbread, and I think some original left as well. Um, fruit always. Apology on Insta, but I don't use it. That's okay. That's okay. My engagement rates are still pretty good. So like, I've got a bit of wiggle room for people who are inactive. It's totally okay. This because Instagram is fun. I think it's fun, but like, obviously everyone's gonna be into different types of content. Perfect, still counts. Indeed, I mean, oh, you make grapefruit. Okay, yes. I was drinking pomegranate. Just for thank you, Daphne. Much appreciated. Just thought about, thank you, Musk. Yay. Oh my God, yay, thank you guys. Thank you. Sniffles. 
Yeah, I think that's gonna be like my next big investment in the stream uh, is um, getting like a an actual marketing person to help me sort out my Insta. Just cause like gaming, like like content, like game stream, video game streamers is such a small niche on Instagram. It's um. You know, all of these, all of these things. I even got a Skillshare free trial to try to find, like, to try to learn more about um, social media stuff, specifically Insta. And I didn't, I couldn't really find much that worked for, for my niche, my content creation niche. Everything's like people who are selling a product or people who are artists or like makeup artists or, or that kind of, and it's like, that's all well and good, but like, I'm a valuable resource to, to companies too. I, I need to know how to grow my shit. Um, so I think it might, I think I'm gonna have to like invest, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Even if it's just like someone who's actually good at marketing telling me here are the hashtags you should be using. Um, that would be good. <laughs> Cause I'm just kind of winging it with those and it doesn't seem to be working very well. Uh, all right, nine. Nine. Just followed and clicked you. Over 900, no way. <gasps> oh my God, really? That's amazing. 902, holy cow. <gasps> oh my God, you guys, we're under 100 to go to 1K and that's like the first really big milestone. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. Thank you. Good morning, fight. How are you going today? You're a makeup artist. Ah, uh, look, I am not. Uh, if you see half of the makeup artists, like the actual makeup artists on Instagram, I am not. I am nothing special. Um, splurge in both my instances. Ah, oh, grossly, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Can we make it to 9.50 today? Oh my God, wouldn't that, that'd just blow my mind. Holy cow. Holy cow. You feel on Instagram brings beautiful images and funny clips. I do, I post clips. I post clips. And I post like looks back on my on my Mount makeup stuff and 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 food because I love food and 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 like uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Sorry, yes, you are special, <laughs> different kind of special. Listen to Landa, they speak the truth. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. I should do some hydrates. I have actually drunk most of my water bottle today. I might have to wait until bubble tea gets here. <laughs> Told ya. That's okay. I'll wait till bubble tea gets here. Except for Jess in the wild, usually looking happy about impending food, but I do. That is a thing. Um Jess picks our best picks, clearly. Just by what level of artist and what kind of special. So yes, look, look. Oh goodness, what is with the cues today? We're almost an hour in, and I've only like, oh my god, look at oh. This is making me really nervous. We'll see how we go. We'll be fine. I do have a couple other ones, so I can do a stretch. Is for nervous. Yes. Yes. So we got ingredients for the strawberry vanilla soda. Let's have a look at what else is in here. This is a gift from Kay from my throne wish list. Uh, the Soda Maker Flavor Bible, healthy and natural homemade flavor syrup recipes for soda stream carbonation machines. Cause we have a soda stream and um, we've got syrups and we're running low on them, but I'm like, I wonder if I could like make stuff and if it'd be like better. So apple cinnamon soda, apple pomegranate soda, banana soda. I am so keen to make banana. Oh, it's banana flavor. Oh God, that, okay. I thought here I was thinking I was gonna use actual bananas to make a syrup, but no, it's a teaspoon of banana flavor. But you can, I've noticed that at um, like to make like banana cupcakes and stuff like that um, from like Woolworths. 
Oh, for the anniversary stream giveaways, assuming those are Oz only, not all of them. Not all of them. So there are a couple that are restricted. Um, so for example, I do have some Logitech peripherals to give away. Um, and because I'm partnered with Logitech G, A, and Z, um, they only, unfortunately, the, the place that I deal with only ships within Australia. So there's that. that it's a little unfortunate, but those will be Aussie only. Um, the Bubble Tea Club stuff, they ship to Australia, New Zealand, United States, and Canada. So as long as you're one of those, you're good. Um, Mellow, I'm pretty sure ships worldwide. So there's that. The mount codes from Blizzard are not region locked, so they're good to go literally wherever. Um, yeah, so like, and then there are a couple of things that I physically have that I need to pay for shipping for. Um, so as much as I might hope that they go to somebody down the road, <laughs> um, I am going to make those open to like everywhere. Uh, and I'm just setting aside some money in my budget to make sure that I'm going to be okay to, to pay for shipping for those. Um, so, yeah, like, no, not everything is Aussie only. Because I know we've got quite a few people from all over the shop, and, uh, I hate, I hate excluding people. Um, it really, like, it, it does suck when stuff is only from a specific place, but, um, as I've said a few times, uh, you know, one day if I am doing better financially, I would love to be able to, instead of, you know, dealing with Logitech and getting a, a product from them for free and saying like, hey, we can give this away, but it's only here. I want to be able to go to them and say, hey, can I, can I pay the shipping? Can you invoice me? And I will let you send it wherever in the world that you want kind of thing. Um, but unfortunately, I, I don't have the cash to do that at the moment. Um, so, yeah, so I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to do stuff more. Um, but it, it just kind of, and you know, the other side of things, being able to just buy stuff and ship it somewhere. Because it doesn't matter then, as long as the place I'm buying it from ships it to somewhere, then it can go there. Uh, but it's all, it's all cash. We're on Alliance side now. By the way, I've done my 10 horde, my first 10 horde, so we're on Alliance. Um, uh, have you had the Where the Lamb Source event oh, the Alliance. in your court? Uh, I think he might be AFK currently, Apathy, sorry. Um, oh cool, you're the best. Look, I try. I know I'm not quite the actual best, but I'm definitely trying. Did I press the live button? I think I did. Um, oh, there you go. Not yet. I think I'm as far away from you as I can possibly be. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Alliance. Clearly time to join us down under. Pluto. Oh, no. Gordon Ramsay reference with your food taster. Ah! Is it one chance per tune per day? It is, Balrog, you are correct. One chance per character per day, and the event only lasts for two weeks. It's a 14 day event. However, Australian people get, like in Australia, daily reset timer is at 1 a.m. and the event finishes at 4 a.m. So we have a 15th day, but it's only three hours long. So we've got to like get in there and get our shit done as quickly as we can within those three hours. It's, it's a time. It's a whole time. Ah, <laughs> uh, be right. I don't usually have a food taster. There you go. That does explain it. But yeah, we will get there. So in seven days, the last content patch is coming, right? I still have a lot of Shadowland materials as ores, cloth, fishes, and so on. Is it the best to sell it all on the AH in the next time, or should I keep it? I don't know if the value of those materials will increase or decrease when the next WoW expansion comes out. So. The value of those items is really, really unpredictable after the expansion because, you know, the, the price is determined by supply and demand, right? So supply drops. Supply drops because people aren't farming it all the time. So there are fewer of them. So you would expect that the price would go up because the supply has dropped. However, the demand has also dropped because not a, like there will be a new expansion worth of materials and stuff like that to go for. However, people still use them for achievements, for making toys or pets or or for whatever it happens to be that they're trying to do using old materials. So the supply drops, but the demand also drops. So the prices can pretty much do anything. It's really, there are, there are some old world materials that are incredibly expensive now, unbelievably expensive now because they're used for things like making transmogs 
and stuff like that. Sometimes it takes a couple of, like, sometimes the price drops really low for a couple more expansions and then skyrockets. Like, we just, it's a really tricky one to call. You just, unfortunately, you kind of just have to watch it and see how it goes. Um, which I know, you know, you're trying to make a decision whether or not to sell right now or in 9-2. In um, but that would unfortunately be entirely up to you. Personally, I tend to just sell everything um, just because if something's really valuable and it's pretty simple to get, I can just go get more of it. Um, but that's, yeah, I I don't like stockpiling shit in case the price goes up later. I just, I don't like doing that at all. So, um, yeah, but that's just my choice. Food taste helps prevent poisoning. Easy enough to avoid when everyone loves you. It also heavily depends on what realm you're on to. Yeah, 100%. One, one realm will go sky high. The other realm will drop to three copper a piece. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> unbelievably varied. There is no way to predict it. Uh, which Shirlands materials are valuable for mount and transport farming? I don't know. You'd need to go look that up yourself. Um, you, you can go and look up, like, you know, your individual things and see what they're used in and stuff like that. Wowhead's good for doing that. There are so many Shadowlands materials, I can't just rattle them off for you. I don't have that kind of knowledge, I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, thank you, you're very welcome. Not a worry. Uh, right, so, what do you have? Apple, pomegranate, uh, pomegranate, uh, banana soda. I was like, oh, goodness gracious. I'm so keen to see what banana soda tastes like. A cantaloupe float. What is the, oh, because it takes vanilla ice cream. Okay, so it's, it's a spider. We call them spiders, not a float. Um, like, yeah, like your ice cream in a, so in a bubbly drink kind of thing. Concord grape and lemon soda. What is, oh, Concord grapes, right. Okay, so it's specifically, that's why it's called Concord Grape and Lemon Soda. It's not, it, it's a specific type of grapes. Gotcha. Uh, homemade grape soda. Italian black cherry cream soda. What makes it Italian? Uh, next patch should see a rise in the prices for the items used for making legendaries due to new ranks. A very temporary rise. Yeah, it'll be very, very quick at the very start. And then no one will care anymore. It'll, it'll even out real quick. It's Italian because you add pasta to it. Hello, Harold. How are you going? Actually, I asked Jess before because he found an Italian something, something, something. And I'm like, what do you add basil? Oh, not basil. Oregano to it. And he just kind of looked at me. Twelve tablespoons Italian black cherry syrup. Why, like, why is syrup an ingredient in a syrup? Like, that's interesting to me. Um, or maybe that's another recipe here in the book somewhere. What is Italian black cherry syrup? I'm going to have to Google so many different ingredients. Maple cherry cream soda. Maple peach soda. Sour cherry soda. Yum. Summertime peach soda. That sounds tasty. Peach and thyme soda. I love when you add like herbs and stuff to, to fruit things. It's just so tasty. Ah, pomegranate rose water soda. I love rose water. It's so tasty. So tasty. And watermelon peach lime soda. Yum. It can also be made into a sparkling cocktail by adding a shot of chilled vodka. You can do that with literally anything. Peach, watermelon, and limes, and water and sugar. You cook it down, make the syrup. Do the thing. And then I'm into chapter seven, berries. The first couple of chapters are like making the most out of your soda stream machine and stuff. So it's a little bit different, but um, I'm so keen. Honestly, I feel like we're just gonna like pick out a recipe each week and make ourselves the thing for the, you know what I mean? It's so good. Ah, uh, Fia's been very fun, thank you very much. Just not the kind of fun you're looking for. <laughs> oh dear. I fucking love how you say oregano, what normally? Well, bam! 
Same humans, same. Also relies on you being on a server with competitive presence for any of the end game content. Yes, very much so. Like cherry syrup with oregano. Honestly, though, that sounds fire. That sounds amazing. Not going to lie. Do I just have like weird tastes? So berry sodas. Next chapter is berry sodas. Blackberry lime soda. Oh, yes. Blackberry soda. Blueberry cream Italian soda. What makes it Italian? It says, Italian sodas are great because you can use so many flavors to make so many different drinks. This recipe shows you how to use fresh blueberries to make a syrup that will be the perfect base for Italian sodas. Ah, <gasps> oh, it's got cream. Is it, is Italian sodas have cream in them? Is that the... It absolutely is. Italian soda is its fizzy drink with cream in it. That makes so much more sense now. It's got cream, not oregano. Noted. <laughs> Good. I love that, Shiva. Well done. Wonderful. Fire, fire, fire. Fire. Uh, blueberry lemonade soda. Cranberry soda. Kiwi strawberry soda. That is one of my favorite ki of flavor combinations. Strawberry kiwi is one of my favorite flavor combos. Mulberry maple cream soda. Raspberry cream soda. Raspberry ginger soda. Ooh, yum. Raspberry key lime soda. See, we don't get key limes in Australia. I, From what I understand, key limes are sweeter than regular limes like limes are quite bitter their, their lime juice is a bit sour but it's all like it's not quite lemon it's got that bitterness to it and a little bit more sweetness to it but then key limes are actually pretty sweet um still a bit of tartness to them but but fairly sweet we don't have we i like i think i've seen key limes in a grocery store once and they were very expensive <clears throat> i think i know what they're getting out of least i pronounce it yeah, oregano. Yeah, that whole yeah. I know I know exactly what she was talking about. Um, I just say it normally. <laughs> oh look, another toxic wasteling. Um, what are you working on at the moment? Uh, heartbreaker runs. So I've got fifty characters, and each of them gets one shot at getting the heartbreaker mount today. So that I'm working through them. Pure DPS tunes first, and then working through all of them to get their attempts done. Uh, it could be both Krim and Oregano, like white pasta sauce. Brilliant. What are you reading? I'm reading uh, from the Soda Maker Flavor Bible, uh, which is a gift that a viewer sent to me via Throne. I've got like a, a digital wish list deal that um, protects your details and protects my details. So it can be sent to my home um, without you ever knowing where I live. Uh, and without me ever learning where you live or your financial details, which is great. Um, and yeah, so I had this book listed on my wish list, and Kay bought it for me and it arrived today. So I'm very excited to try all these because we've got a soda stream. Uh, and I, instead of buying syrups, I wanted to like make some. Uh, and I was having difficulty finding good recipes. And then I saw this on Amazon a book full of 101 something recipes. So I'm like, yes. So yeah, I'm very excited. I uh, had key lime pie in Hawaii, it was so good. Uh, add the pasta water to the drink to make it Italian. Like, you're right, but I really don't want to. <laughs> uh, we, have finger we do have finger limes. Finger limes are totally, completely different. They taste very, very different. to Like, the finger limes still taste like lime. Um, they're just, you squeeze out the little pearls from the inside of them. They're just differently structured. They still taste fairly, sim fairly similar. Not as strong, a little milder, but they're not sweet like key limes are. They're very different. Uh, I've noticed your camera does a glitch out thing every so often. Yes, it does. It's done ever since I got it, and I'm still in contact with Logitech about it. They don't know why. They've gone through all of their troubleshooting stuff, and they cannot figure out why I'm experiencing it. They just don't know. So they're actually, they're, they're to the level of talking to the engineers at Logitech to figure out what's going on with it. Uh, but I am aware. Uh, sounds pretty cool. I've always liked Red Bull stuff in the soda stream. Ooh, yum. Yeah, I can't, like, look, I used to love Red Bull. My body doesn't do so well with energy drinks anymore. Um, yeah, it 
like I get a little bit of energy for a while, but it's more like my heart is pounding, but the rest of me is still exhausted. Um, and then when I come down, I come down hard. Like I fucking crash and I feel like sick for days and all this, like it's just, it's not good. Um, not just my age, I also have an autoimmune condition, so it affects the way my body handles all sorts of fun things, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I uh, to still have Red Bull. The flavor, the flavor is nice, yeah. I, look, I definitely kind of, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. That kind of, it's almost, it's sweet, but it's kind of sour, and there's that kind of tartness to it. So it. It's just, yeah. It's a really, it's really tasty, but fuck it, it ruins me. <laughs> totally relatable. Good. Good. Oh, dear. Mm, these are all like fruit and, and uh, herb based so far. Some cream ones. Some like creamy based sort of dealies. Uh, but yeah, raspberry, raspberry key lime soda. I might have to figure out if I can actually get key limes here. Even just to try this recipe and see what it's like. They might be really expensive, but hey, like, I only need two. Juice from two, like, key limes and zest from two key limes. So I can, I can get those, both of those things from the, the singular two, the singular two. Um, so I might be able to swing that in terms of price. Just not going to go out getting a fucking kilo of the things. Um, if I can find them, though, that's, that's the first question. Can I actually find them? What's next? Raspberry vanilla soda. Ooh, yum. Uh, strawberry basil soda. Strawberry basil is a really good combo. Um, I used to do uh, like balsamic strawberries. So like you cook down and in like a frying pan, you cook down halved strawberries with some balsamic vine vinegar and it makes them all like sticky and sweet and but like still that tart from the vinegar. And then you toss a few fresh basil leaves in there just towards the end and wilt them a little. God, it's such a good, good flavor combo. Really good flavor combo. So that's the things. My daughter, his wife, expects himself. Good lord. I believe that I am trying to kill somebody. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, strawberry black pepper soda. Ooh. That sounds really interesting. Strawberry pineapple soda. Strawberry rose water soda. Rose water gets fierce. Tick of approval. Strawberry soda. Simple. Strawberry tarragon soda. Hmm. Uh, strawberry vanilla soda. And we're on to citrus. Blood orange soda. Ah, yes. Uh, cherry limeade. Classic lemon Italian soda. Uh, clementine pomegranate. Coconut lime, easy orange, lavender lemon. Lavender is a great thing to use in food. Can I just say, like, lavender ice cream, lavender caramel ice cream is probably one of the best fucking ice cream flavors I've ever had. So good. Uh, lemon cream soda, lemon lime cucumber soda. Ooh, that sounds like hella refreshing. Oof. That sounds really, really good. Um... You see that combo working? Ah, yeah. It's also a dookie wanted me to imprison him. Just under the upside down Christmas tree. Yeah. Well, um, Sheba's, when, when Sheba redeemed the mic cover, uh, he said deforestation. So I was like, I'm guessing you mean Christmas tree, but if you're saying deforestation, it's going upside down. It's going upside down. Eat him into jail. Easy contract renegotiation. Uh, mango lime soda. Masala lime soda. This has masala powder, cumin powder, and ground black pepper in it. That sounds incredible. I'm so, like, so excited. Lawful evil. Tries to kill someone, still warns you about it because it's the right thing to do. Pineapple lemonade. Pink grapefruit. Virgin mimosa. Watermelon lime. Now we're into tropical sodas. Cherry pineapple. Coconut vanilla cocktail soda. Cucumber mojito. Dragon fruit. Key lime pie. Of course. Fresh kiwi soda. Mango mint. Ooh, and now herbed sodas. This is going to be exciting. Sounds a bit like a chai. Yeah, but it's got lime in it too. I'm like, what is this? 
Not sure I want a spy master stupid enough to suspect themselves. Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Like, are they really, really good or are they really, really not good? Uh, cucumber, mint, basil. Ginger, turmeric, soda. Ooh, Italian cucumber soda. Lavender soda. So you make lavender syrup. And then you add the syrup to the to the sparkling water. Lemon verbena soda. Lemon verbena is really, really tasty. Like it's it's so like so lemon verbena, it's a plant, and it tastes like plant, it tastes like green. Um, but we This is taking too long. Let's try this again. Yeah, let's show that. Um, so it's a plant, and it, so it tastes like green. It tastes like herbs and plants and things like that. But it also is really, really lemony at the same time. It's such a cool herb. Such a cool herb. Lemon, watermelon, and basil. Lemon, rosemary. That'd be a really good combo. Lemongrass, lime. Melon, herb. So it's cantaloupe with dill and cilantro. Dill, yes. Coriander, no. Mm. Mint, cherry, limeade. I fucking love mint. Mint is just the bestest. Orange, ginger, mint. Enjoy the others the way others say basil instead of basil. 26 Intrigue Elusive Shadow. Oh, wow. This is much my grandfather great uncle had. at 40 plus when he died. For how don't you hate when your internet DCs five seconds before the last boss dies in a dungeon? Yes. Yes, I do. Very cousins to each other. Oh, no. Oh, no. Plum and rosemary. Rhubarb and honey. Rhubarb is delicious. We used to make, um, like, we used to make stewed rhubarb. Like, we used to grow rhubarb in the, in the veggie patch. And then you'd like cut it down into little stalks and add a ton of sugar and then just boil it all down until it's all just mush. And then we'd scoop, like get a big scoop, a couple of scoops of that, put it in the microwave and heat it up and then add ice cream to it. Rhubarb and vanilla ice cream. So good. So good. Rhubarb soda. Rhubarb is a complex, sweet and tart flavor that resembles strawberry, but with a little twist of spice. Soda uses fresh rhubarb to create bold flavors that go extremely well with a backyard barbecue. Uh, rose water soda, nice and easy. Make rose syrup. Sage and grapefruit. Sparkling hibiscus iced tea. Yum. Hibiscus tea is really tasty. I've had it before. It's really, really good. Ah, uh, rhubarb best flavor. Good luck on the run. Sleep time, rest well, Kazimi. We'll see you next time. Can't grow rhubarb until the kids get bigger. Yeah. Yeah, great. And apple crumble. Yes. Apps like apple and rhubarb crumble is just so good. What the hell is with these cues? What is going on? Am I going to be here until midnight? I really don't want to be. Big patch got destroyed by a lawnmower. <gasps> oh no. Unless man, I got a transmog I didn't have in the post. Good. Brilliant. Wonderful. Look at this. We're sitting at 12. With eight minutes to go. Good lord. Alright, let's... It's fucking broken. This is, uh, ever so slightly annoying. Look at that! God damn it! Fucking Jesus. <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh, spicy chai soda. What? Black tea, fresh cinnamon, orange peel, star anise, cardamom, black peppercorns, whole cloves, and then you bubble it. <laughs> what? Uh, star anise, pineapple, white peach, and lavender. And then we've got chapter 11 is classic sodas. Uh, never grew back. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, Rhubarb always reminds me of grandma. She was able to grow a small patch in her backyard. Yeah, I don't know how I got into like four while you've been sitting. Yeah, it's just like it, the queues are broken. Um, there yesterday there were there was a few issues where if you didn't queue a specific way, you just never got in. Um, and when you're queuing as a group, if you're queuing solo, you're pretty fine. Like it can be a little bit longer than usual, but yeah, no, there's um the queues are actually broken. Like there is some there are some issues. Okay, cool. So Qualitron. 
is still not working, even though I restarted it. Let's try that and see if that works. Oh shit. Did I just... I think I might have just broken something, guys. Give me a second. I did. Okay. Alright, I fixed it. Hopefully. Hopefully that does something. Otherwise I might have to restart the PC entirely, which I'm not going to do mid midstream, obviously. Um... It's like there's a little bit of hype around this. Technical quality wall tapestry. Ooh, nice. Sounds pretty. Yeah, I can say that's the same amount I had, so it doesn't only hate pushy bussy. Oh, it was Seeker who first realized it was broken. Hey, Anab. Technical difficulties of the stream. Is your Elgo Druid a Boomkin on Alliance side? Not a Boomkin. Uh, it is a Druid and it is on Alliance side. Uh, Wargan Druid. Um, but I don't usually play as Boomkin. I usually play as Feral, but all my tunes are in weird random specs just for faster cues at the moment, so. Uh, is this one? Uh, the bet is that it's number 34 today, uh, which is not this one, but I mean, it could be this one. See? Uh... I just realized I haven't put my earrings in. Oh no. Of the tunes that can only be DBS. Um, yeah, that's why I go through them first. Just to get them done, and then I've got faster cues mostly for the rest of the night. Posture check. Fucking posture check he's in. Total men are on so far. Good question. You'll see when I when it when it logs in. What is to Ah shit, I've got add-ons on. Damn it, that's why it took so long. Right, let's just queue as just tank. I don't know, I can't believe the sacrilege. I know, right? I know. Just a new redeemer uh, for our earrings in. Um, for what? What do you mean new redeem? Like, um, like a text command or something like that? That's just through embers, through channel points. your feet. Watch your feet. I don't like the new GTA bro. I need it to yell at me like like alarms. So that's twelve seventeen. One thousand two hundred and seventeen attempts. <sighs> Are the earrings in? <laughs> So it was ready, saved instances, Tomcats, and GSE. Let's go. 
Mm okay. Celery soda. Believe it or not, celery soda has been around since the beginning of soda making. Ever since Dr. Brown's introduced Cell Ray Soda, it has, be it has been a New York deli favorite. This recipe will show you how to make your own celery soda that is crisp and refreshing. I mean, there is sugar in it, so I guess it'd be okay. I hope you will. Have a great Tuesday. Indeed I am, Elg. I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. Chocolate phosphate soda. This old-fashioned treat is one of the first types of soda ever invented. Thanks to our homemade chocolate syrup, this is sure to be the tastiest, most authentic chocolate phosphate you've ever had. What? Where do I get phosphate from? I'm confused. Classic chocolate egg cream. Milk, chocolate syrup, and sparkling water. That sounds rank. Celery hate group down with celery. Does celery even have a taste? Use my ranch dip as a way to put more ranch dip in my mouth. Yeah, celery absolutely has a taste. It's not particularly great. It needs to go with other things. In my opinion. Celery is okay when it's part of something, when it's an ingredient, but just like by itself, no thank you. I'm, uh, I'm good. Phosphate <clears throat> from the laboratory. Dude, dude. Classic chocolate egg cream. This, fa this old fashioned soda's origins date back to early 1900s New York City where immigrants invented a soda that became an instant success. The interesting thing about the egg cream is that it contains neither egg nor cream. And while historian, historians argue over where the name came from, we can all agree that it is still just as delicious as it was a hundred years ago. I'm not sure I agree with that. It's half and half milk and sparkling water with chocolate syrup added. I'm confused. Classic lemon lime soda. Okay, I can take that. Uh, homemade diet cola. Homemade tonic water. There's so much in tonic water. My god. Um, natural ginger ale. Old fashioned raspberry lime ricky. Good. Old fashioned root beer. Original Shirley Temple. Simple ginger soda. Spicy cola. Uh, vanilla bean cream soda. Four tablespoons of vanilla bean paste. Good lord. Good lord. Dessert sodas. Um, if you grow your own celery, it tastes so much better. False advertising. Ah, uh, the joy of names. Good evening. How are you going, Kay? What do you think we might be reading from? Glad to see that you're sticking to WoW while the rest of Twitch is all playing Lost Ark. That's totally fine. They're excited about a new game that's come out. Let's not shit on their fun. Um, they're having a good time and they're allowed to do that. Um, I just don't have time for anything except for Heartbreaker Runs. It arrived. It did! It arrived today and I was like, what the hell? That was quick. So, uh, yes, we are... And we bought the ingredients for strawberry vanilla soda today. So um, that's what we're going to try first. Oh, I dinged. 51. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> 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 
I have been congratulated. Um. Speaking of drinks, I can't. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a drink to arrive because I can't. I've, my water bottle is empty. My bottle, it is empty. Last dark is awesome. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. So glad you're enjoying it. That's awesome. Sounds tasty, right? Never realized there were so many exotic pop recipes around. Neither did I. Neither did I. Is there a sparkling boba? Um, I've had sparkling boba before, yes. Um, basically you just kind of make it as it is and then you add sparkling water to it, like to fruit teas. I wouldn't do it with milk teas, but there are milky recipes in this book. So I have a concern. It's a great game. I just want to watch our streamers. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally okay. But you can do that without shitting on everyone who is deciding to try out Lost Ark. You know what I mean? That's all. That's all. Uh, you have to let us know how the book goes. Might grab one if it's good. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, my plan is to try like four recipes to start with and take like pretty photos and um, see if we can get them on the Instagram. Congrats. Thank you, Elk. Can to hear the results of your soda experiments? Neither can I. And the best bit is because it's not like a, it's, it's a pretty basic book, like even like the pictures and stuff are, are black and white and things, but the paper is regular paper. It's not like shiny glossy paper. So I can take notes, like what I liked about each one and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be very helpful. Very helpful. Are uh, you referencing the pearls or the whole drink? I assumed it was the whole drink. I assumed it was the whole drink. Uh... Hello, Chaos. I can't log out. I guess we're sorted out online now. Oh, no. So, um, slash log out is a thing. Uh, if you can't actually, like, get the menu up. Otherwise, you might just have to alt F4 and get back in. Oh, my God. I haven't grabbed someone for dinging for years. I miss WoW and a guild that talks. Fair. Fair. Excuse me. Earlier today, I found out again that Druids now have two buttons for mount and travel form. Travel is the one that saves you from falling and not the mount form button. They go. There you go, you did learn a thing, didn't you? It's on. Uh, get my water. I can't, I'm running behind on these runs already, like so far behind. I've only done like 15 and my first are unlocking. Like, that's so bad. We're at an hour and a half in and I've only done 15 runs. That is so bad. These queues today have been shocking. I need to get to bed before midnight. <laughs> Curdle drinks, yummy. I'm really curious to see how it's supposed to work with the fuck with the cream. Like that's, you know, I find that so interesting. We'll see how we go. I mean, I have to try at least one cream one. Like we start like strawberry vanilla is a pretty basic one to start with. I think the next one I try will have to be a cream one. I uh, love why last year's has been the longest content drought. I'm pretty sure Glizz has already abandoned this X pack. I don't believe that they have it all, personally. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun. Like, a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot more collectibles and stuff. If you're not... The, the thing is that they've been they've been adjusting what they're targeting their efforts towards. Um, so it's it's not all just Mythic Plus and raiding. They're, they're swinging their, their focus towards other things. They're putting in more, uh, like, collectibles and all this kind of stuff, more achievements, all that, all those bits and pieces. Um, and if you don't enjoy that side of the game, you're going to feel like they're not catering to you very much anymore, that they're, that they're putting less content in, but they're not. They're putting just as much content. It's just a different type of content. It's totally okay if you don't enjoy that kind of content. Like, you like what you like. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's not a content drought. They also need to wait, like, with, with raids and stuff like that. They have, like, a benchmark of we want X percent of our player base to be able to play through it. So if they haven't got there yet, like, you know, if they release raids, if they release new raids too quickly, the casual people will feel like they can never catch up. They can never complete any raid tier, and so they'll stop playing. And then the only people who are raiding are going to be your top, 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 top tier people who are, like, less than 1% of the player base at this point. Oh, well, maybe around 1% or 2%, but, like, not much at all. Vast majority of the player base is casuals like me. Collectors and shit. Um, so, yeah, it's, um... Yeah, it's just the the type of the game is, is changing somewhat, but it's, uh... 
not as drastic as people seem to say. I'm not shitting on anyone, just glad I have someone that still likes WoW. It came across very shitting on people. Um, like, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm glad you're not playing Lost Ark. It's like, well, there's nothing wrong with playing Lost Ark. It's it's like the you think think about the people who come in here and say I'm so glad you're a female streamer who hasn't got her tits out. So you're shitting on other female streamers who decide to wear a low cut top because like you're not saying that you have just you know but do you see the the uh, parallel there? Like I'm so glad you're not X is essentially shitting on X, um, and it's just this unnecessary. Um, anyway. Just my opinion. I uh, love having level 9 court around your man. I get some better inspirations. Heck yeah, Instagram fodder. Fuck yeah. My take on Lost Ark. Fun games, spectacular visuals, bloated UI. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so much better inspirations. Uh, I just need to hit 10. We're on ally then. We're on horde now. We're back to horde. We hit 20 attempts. We're back on horde. Um, uh, of course you need to try the apples. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, longest content drought was actually in board with just, uh, like one week above the content drought we had a mop. Uh, can't wait to play the new app patch next week. What, everyone else? Yeah, me too. Um, the, the, we're gonna have a squirt day stream on Wednesday. We're not. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be patch day. Um, and that's fine, because I'm, I'm super excited about that. Uh, and then, on that weekend, the 26th, we have my six year anniversary stream, which is a marathon stream. 12 hours of gameplay. Um, well. 12 hours featuring some gameplay. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be giveaways and all sorts of shenanigans and fun times as well, but we are definitely going to spend some time in the new zone. Uh, I would love to get my hands on a couple of those mounts. I would love to. Uh, so longest delays between patches, not talking about them focusing on mounts or collectibles. But I mean, there's, there's also 17 years worth of content to do between those patches. Like, it's, yeah, there's, yeah. It's fine. There, there is always something to do in WoW. There is never a drought of stuff to do in WoW. It just depends on what you actually enjoy doing. Like, they, they've not, they never write off an expansion. I, I think people vastly underestimate just how passionate these people are about their jobs. Like, they fucking love what they do. That's why they've been there for so long. That's why they pour their heart, souls, sweat, blood, and tears into this game. Um, they don't just abandon expansions. They, that's not a thing. Um, but anyway. But anyway, uh, plus a paradigm shift of being less stubborn with the design philosophies too, which is nice. That's right. All good, Dad, all good. It's, you know, just having a conversation. That's all it is. Uh, don't shit on me. <laughs> uh, a lot of fire right now. On top of that, the pandemic happens. SOO still holds the title for longest patch, actually. Um, I clicked the logout button. Uh oh, there we go. I was like, is this what you were talking about? It's fine though. Ah, oh, good day, I missed your opinion. Apparently I hope today is your lucky day. Thank you, Mori, much appreciated. Fingers crossed. Everything crossed, legitimately. Uh, I will say that patch drought is a thing that Blizzard's been trying. The game just kind of got too big for everyone to be happy with it all the time, just personal opinion. They're like, they're legitimately, they cannot, you cannot make everybody happy, firstly. Um, like it is impossible to make everybody happy. Um, but like y you've got that whole thing, like, you know, if you're, if you're a, like a hardcore player and you, you play balls to the wall, you go hard and you get it done, you're going to, if you clear mythic rating in like a month or two, does that mean that anyone who's less skilled than you doesn't get to play through that content? There are people who love rating who are not anywhere close to being potentially possibly reasonably okay at mythic rating and they do heroic. And it takes them three months to clear normal. And then it takes them another couple of months to get deeper into heroic. And then the next patch comes out. Like, they need time to enjoy their content too. Just because you've done everything that you're happy with doesn't mean that everyone has. And I think that's it's really unfair to a lot of the other players who literally have fucking spouses and kids and a full-time job and another pot maybe another full-time job and they love playing WoW and they raid once a week for two hours with some of their closest friends and they want to experience the content too. And they have a right to. And so, patches take a little bit longer to give everyone 
a chance to experience the content that Blizzard has fucking slaved over. Let them have their chance. Go play something else for a couple months while you wait for the next patch to come out. That's that's your reward for fucking pounding your head against it until it died. Um, is, you know, you, you get to take a breather before you dive back in. Before you take a deep breath, hold it and dive in hard and push through that content like it's a job. Like it's like it's, you know, your 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 only purpose for being for however many months. Like let the other players enjoy their shit too. Take a breath, chill out, relax for a little while, and then prepare your ass for, for the next patch. I got a DPS queue. Shit. Shit. That's fine. I was not expecting a DPS queue. This is on like my gear, my level 62 and 2, so I should be owning this shit, and instead I'm not. I'm doing nothing because I'm in. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, I don't even have my guardian stuff on the freaking. Oh my god, I'm a noob. <sighs> I'm the worst. Okay. Now that I'm out of combat, I'm absolutely putting this shit on my bars for next time. <sighs> Not at the goblins thing, at the at the fact that I suck. Okay. Um Miss WoW, I enjoy the social part. Ever since my old Aussie chatty guild disintegrated, I haven't found a good one and it feels like a one player game to me. Yeah, I've I haven't bothered with guilds and stuff in, in years. I have the community here and that's that. Like, that's enough for me. I mean I, I know that obviously people enjoy having guilds in game and stuff as well, but um I don't feel like I personally need that. Um Yeah, it's uh Let's switch to this because I know the queues are broken. That work? Did Kay get kicked out? What just happened there? Why? Okay, let me do that. What is going on? There we go. Sorry, Kay, try again. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what the fuck I did there. Why is it fl fl listing me as DPS? I'm queued as only tank. Yeah! It had three of three DPS, and then above that, just the shield icon. What the fuck? The cues are actually broken. Can we clip that? I want to send it to Blizz. Damn it. Uh, I'm a collector from myself, busy all week in my with farming. I am playing Lost Ark. Fantastic! I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I never have nothing to do around, neither do I. Lost Ark is pretty good while you wait for WoW patch X pack. This is the thing, like, what I what I would love to see is all these different MMOs and stuff line up their, their release schedules so that, like, you jump into WoW and you have a couple months, and then you jump into Final Fantasy and have a couple months, and then you jump into Lost Ark, I think Lost Ark's an MMO, uh, and have a couple months, and then by that point, Wow, it's WoW's time to release a patch. So you swing back around and play WoW for a couple months. And then, do you know what I mean? Like, that would just be great for those who burn through content like that or who only like a very specific type of content. Uh, and then those of us who like literally everything except PvP um, wouldn't feel the pressure and feel the rush of everyone else being like, hurry up, we want the next patch. It's like, I'm still trying to get all the mounts from this one. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's... um. 
I think that would be fantastic. Uh, I don't think that counts as collusion in the industry or like, I don't know, but I, I feel like that'd be fantastic for everyone involved, you know? No competing release days for those who play multiple games. And you can cycle through them, enjoy it for your time, and then move to the next one as it releases something new. I think it'd just be beautiful. Harmonious. Um, biggest issue I had personally is our guild cleared heroic in a couple months. We didn't have the amount of players to run Mythic. I've seen a lot of people like put like stick guilds together temporarily to do things like Mythic. Um, but like, yeah, I mean, Mythic is designed for that like 1% of players. Uh, but yeah, trying to f like, it, you will occasionally have a couple of guilds who don't have the numbers for Mythic, but they have the skill level and stuff, but then neither leadership team is willing to like merge with the other one or like to step down or whatever. It's just, it's like, fuck, do you want to do the content? <laughs> Obviously not every situation, but um, it is interesting to see because it came out wrong I'm saying I feel a little bad for the developers Everyone wants it to be just for them. Oh, no, absolutely. Oh, I was I thought I was agreeing with you Thor um, Game to uh, like I definitely agree with the whole everyone being happy thing. I mean patch drought like Yeah, but patches aren't actually as long like they if you only enjoy one kind of content They're gonna feel a lot longer than you, you know, it's yeah. Uh, I've good did her in a couple months. That's pretty good. No stage of the best. You can't say you're the worst. Plus, Boba's on its way. I'm excited. I'm not sure that playstyle Lost Ark is my kind of thing. Totally fair, Kay. Totally fair. Ah, uh, good morning, Aloris. Good morning, good morning. Hello. I uh, haven't done Mythic rating since BFA, but I will run through a bit of Heroic. Yeah, I uh, I have a guild that I, like, very occasionally, casually run with. Um, and we helped each other with our AOTC this round. I think it's a UI bug. It could be, it could be, but I'll ask. Uh, it's just been weird. So we're just like, oh, I'm sorry, Kate. Yeah, it's a bit fucky. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, even the game knows you don't need a tank for this event, <laughs> except it insists on having a tank. Otherwise it doesn't let you go. Like, just cute. I was cute for just here, like put me in as DPS. Yeah, that's, that's like, as in you got into the dungeon as DPS. Yeah, that absolutely needs to be reported. It's even letting me solo queue, so I'm reloading. Oh god. Uh, corporatists are so terrible at sharing. She encourages us to do just that. All I need is Blazing Drake. Ah, before I've gotten every mount from Kata. Well done, Jason. Well done. I'll still be missing, like, PvP mounts. Um, also, I think I don't have the ones from Tolbarad, so that's a. Uh, I think those are Kata mounts, aren't they? Clippers ready? Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Hey, MK! For the chances of mount drop today? Uh, I don't remember. Um, Jack gave us an actual percentage number, like this is the percentage chance you have each individual day by doing 50 attempts, uh, but I don't recall. Um, but I've had 1,223 attempts, and that puts me at a 30.72% chance of having seen it already. Statistic, like expressing statistics verbally is weird, like it, it makes for some shonky sentences. Uh, when I was doing my degree, it was, oh my god, trying to equivalent, like, DNA evidence. Oh, good lord. You have to be so careful with how you word stuff. So careful. We've hit 30% though, and that's a nice number. I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Uh, I would like that too, it'd be awesome until it locks out any new studios or games. Yeah, well that's the thing though, because games pick up and quiet and down and all that kind of stuff, and you can, and that way you can have a really, really long patch with one game, and another one kind of slots into the, do you know what I mean? People rotate through all sorts of wonderful things. Or if you've got two MMOs that are vastly different storylines and playstyles and stuff like that, and they can release at the same time because, like, their player base overlaps, like, by the, t you know, the, the Venn diagram is like this. There's, like, the tiniest little overlap in the middle. That could work. 
the cash key coins a chance can just confirm a true content warning pops up as a thing once history is cleared awesome news i'm really glad to hear that uh, so hello Ginny, how are you going okay, a great day indeed we'll see after i wake up something i would like to be something i would like would be to some some optional content that is only available in the late stages of the patch. Well, they do tend to have... Ah, uh, yeah, that's what the, the Landslider collectibles are for. Pe there are people who only focus on collectibles and they do that really, really early in the patch. But then people who do your, um, like, do raiding or Mythic Plus or whatever, they push, they push, they get their set of 20s done, they clear Mythic Raid, whatever they're doing, they get to Gladiator and PvP or whatever the hell it is these days, uh, and then it's like, okay, I'll do some collecting now. That's what some players tend tend to be like. But the whole like only available in the end stages of a patch thing, I feel like that can be a little bit dangerous in terms of like if it's only available at the end of the patch and then it gets removed in the next one. I don't like that. I don't like super, super, super limited ones. Um, because there's all sorts of reasons why a person might not be able to play. They might be like they might lose their job and be broke and not be able to afford the subscription for that one month period and then, you know, fuck them, I guess. Just kinda adds salt to the injury or like, you know, kicking a person when they're down. Um, however, if you mean it it's introduced close to the end of a patch and then is available permanently afterwards, um, a lot of people who don't who have dropped out for that patch are likely to just say, Oh well it will be there. For the like there's no there's no need for me to get it right now because it'll be there later on as well kind of thing it could be a really interesting idea though to lure a handful of people back if if stuff got introduced two months before a pat other issue with that i've just thought of is it makes it a lot less flexible for them in terms of patch dates if they say you know oh we're going to release this and then everyone's like oh it must be four weeks until patch then but then there are delays with the patch and then people get shitty, even though it was never explicitly said that it would be on that date. And then you like, mm. it is an interesting concept though. I wonder if there is a way where there isn't a downside rather than just, you know, introducing everything at the start of the patch and people can collect it whenever they want. It is interesting. I, I do, I do find the idea curious. Ah, uh, that is dedication. Look, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Have you heard the Love Rocket song? N no. Have they renamed it the Heartbreaker song? Because the mount is called the Heartbreaker now. Uh, I got a simple armory standards. PvP mounts are under their own thing. Don't count PvP for expansion. That'll be its own thing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, it's the Tolbarad tokens from the dailies, though. They don't require any PvP. Uh, I'm not sure if they slot in there or not. Um in terms of challenging stuff. Well, that's what the secrets are for, Nab. That's what secrets are introduced for, because people don't tend to find them until later in patches, because they take the whole patch to kind of hunt them down. And then, um... Yeah. We're at a 32.33 repeating of course percentage of mount sightings. There we go. Uh, my word. 1.5. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure what the number was, I'm sorry. I haven't mythic reading at all. We haven't completed the most difficult content of the patch yet. Uh, I run 38 every day. I have just over 1% progress every day. There you go. There you go. Is that buy button you have on your sidebar? Is a macro to leave instance? Yes. Macro to leave instance group. Leave instance group. Uh, mission before I have done mythic reading. And that's how he knows you haven't. That's why. That's how he's brought it up. Um, have fully cracked it with too much stuff in bank. Oh no, about to sell everything because space. I need to clean out Fia's bank. Her bank bank is like actually full. Like no slots left. Hello, Welsh. Good morning, Haley. How are you going? I can accommodate that one or use the fact that it's available to cross room rated. What's your highest key rank? 17. Got the option to push all the 20s to the portal still. It's that specifically for me. I'm getting, getting that way with PvP seasons. Uh, when they were ending, etc. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like that. Like they removed that mount. Only raid mount they removed after the fact. Um, give me that scroll. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to refund that for you, Welsh. Um, we're not paying. We're not playing stream raiders today. Uh, I should probably have turned those off. Actually, my bad. Um, that's okay. I have fix that now. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Uh, but yeah, we're not playing stream readers today because I wanted to get through these faster 
but it is it is not working it's it's broken the cues are just totally screwed today I don't know what is going on uh, no heartbreak for you zero of 14 that's okay tomorrow It's a mess, yeah, me too. Look, same. Same. I do have a queue of hydrate sitting there, but I don't have a drink. So. These queues are fucked. Capital F, fucked. This is by far the longest it's taken me to get through these. Uh, like, by a long shot. They better fix these fucking cues before that three hour day, or I'm gonna be very unhappy. Yeah, break your cue. Yep. It's been nearly two hours, and we're only halfway. This is. I don't like this at all. Two minutes for a tank queue, god damn. Maybe it's because I have a DPS in the group. Who knows? I wonder if just group queues in general are fucked. Is faster from my experience. Are your queues a bit weird as well today? Yeah. These the queues were weird yesterday. They were like actively not working very well. Um from my experience, Goose Solo has definitely not always been faster. Um like I'll be sitting there for two minutes and I'll have someone join the queue and it'll pop it. Join join my group and it'll pop instantly. Um I, like a lot of that experience. Like a lot, a lot of that experience. Um, but yesterday and today, the queues have been just really weird. Like, I had a seven-minute queue yesterday, and today I've had, like, a whole bunch that have been four or five minutes. And now it's, like, average wait time three minutes. That's weird. Really weird. So DBS are waiting seven minutes today for two tunes already. Oof. Yeah, not, not good. Not good. There we go. Look, I mean, it... <sighs> It's not that big, like seven minutes is pretty fucking reasonable for a DPS, but when you've got 50 characters to get through, one minute queue on each of those tunes, and that's 50 minutes of queue. Not in not counting the amount of time it takes to die, and then the amount of time it takes to switch tunes, and all that kind of like. And I need to get through 50 tunes in under three hours for that final, that 15th day. I mean, I hope I don't have to, I hope it drops, but like. Hope it drops before then. But this is really starting to make me, like, I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah, oh, a bit of major damage killed. Everyone keys it, playing Smoothie 7 next expert. Since our run was low pop, yeah. Yeah, it's good that you, there are so many things that can run cross server and like, if you've got a community, not just a guild, like if you actually have a community that is cross server, that's, you know, and you can, rec there's a community finder as well, so you can recruit via a community rather than a guild and stuff, but yeah, look, it is, it definitely comes down to each individual group's playstyle and how they want to run things. Guilds certainly give you a bit more control, but, um, yeah, control isn't always totally necessary. You can just take killer on all tunes that have that option, yes. Even if you just want DPS. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I want fast queues. I have 50. Five, zero, 50 queues to get through. I do not give a flying fuck what I end up in there as. I just want to be in there and have it dead. <laughs> I, I do not have time for anything else. I do not have time for, oh, I really want a DPS though. Now fuck that. Fuck it. I can't afford to. 
And now, if you queue as like if you dual queue with DPS, it's been sticky, like it's been broken. So, yeah, nah. <sighs> Looking forward to this event over. Get my life back. You and me both. M, you and me both. Ah, uh, be part of the problem with the realm being even more dead. Yay. Ah, that's what server measures are for. That's what server measures are for. If there are enough actually, act like realms that have actual population issues, then they merge them. That's the whole idea. That's not your problem, Nab. That's Blizzard's problem. You don't. You just got to do what's best for you, and Blizzard can handle the rest. Must be healer cues at the moment. I feel like when you spend more time in queue than you do in the dungeon. I spend more time in queue than in a dungeon, exactly what my friends that push 21 plus keys have to deal with. Yeah, but that's usually because they're being really, really picky about who they're gonna take with them. This is, I don't give a flying fuck, just let me in the dungeon. Like, there's, there's a difference. Big difference. That's, that's spending more time waiting for the right person to come along intentionally, on purpose, by choice. Pick really high key, still by choice. It is still a choice that they are making. Okay, let's knock this one over. <laughs> Let's see if I can get an insta queue on a healer. <laughs> Why are you waiting for me to start the battle, God? If you're the first one in, get in there and start it. Good lord. Do not be afraid, my children. Crusader aura, fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, I cannot believe how long it's taking for a tank to pop a Q. Yeah, hopefully they have a fix soon. Hopefully. It could just be that it's like they're massively having issues with healers, uh, which is why I'm kind of curious to see how it'll go when I get a, like when I have a tune that can pop a healer Q. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I won't even make it to a tune with a healer Q. Come on, mount drop. I know, right? It's not 34 yet, though. It's not the 34th one yet. That was the 27th. In two hours and four minutes of stream. It's fine. I'm gonna queue as just healer for this and see what happens. See if I can get it to pop like instantaneously.
Look at the, what is that? Tank, one of one, queued only as healer. L what the ever loving fuck is going on with that fucking thing? If that is not a UI bug, good lord. And it's a base UI bug, not an add on bug, because I have no UI add ons on at all. Not a single UI add on is activated. Not one. So that is a blizzard UI bug, if that's what's happening. Can, if anyone is actually not busy, <laughs> um, can someone have a squiz at the Blizzard forums and just see if anyone at all is talking about this bullshittery? Because this is just, something is very wrong. Something is seriously very wrong. You've got to put on the earrings. I've got them on now. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. I took a photo of them the other day, actually, to put on my Insta to say thank you to Anon at times two for the, the suggestion and the gift. So that's what's happening now. Every time I get a throne, every time a gift arrives from throne, um, I'm adding it to my to-do list to like take photographs, put on Instagram. Yep, it's gonna, it's a time. We'll get there. Get the UI bug. It, oh, but like, that is a terrible UI bug. A terrible, because then if that's a UI bug, is the wait time, the estimated wait time, like the average wait time, is that also a bug? Like, like, oh, I just, I don't like what's going on. I do not like what's going on. Especially considering I'm so heavily reliant on getting through 50 tunes in, in three hours flat for that 15th day. It's making me very unhappy. Where a data received to delay than an actual bug. N no, because the data received delay should not show me as one of one tank when I've queued as only healer. That's not, that's wrong data. Not delayed data, like wrong data. Surely. I, I'm not a programmer. I don't know. Maybe delay means wrong sometimes. Um, but I, that like, I can't even be a tank on this tune. Anyway, I don't, I don't like this at all. I need accurate information when I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get 50 done in three hours. It's two hours and eight minutes and I've got 20, I've got 12, 22 tunes to go. That's, my bug is also clipped in case you don't want, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Fee is fucking anxious. Fee is fucking anxious. Fee feels like she's gonna throw up on her keyboard. That does not work at all. I should have chosen better words. I blame anxiety. Not healing anxiety, funnily enough. I'm fine with, like, pressing a button. Um, pardon? Ooh, it's dinner. Not, uh, give me just a second. Thank you. One more hoardy and we're back to more Alliance tunes. That's how behind we are. Like, that's how many fucking tunes we still have to go. Is this open? Nope. That's the one that we got today. It is. So hungry, my stomach is eating itself. Okay. Now you can eat that. Now I can eat food. Why is the knife wet? 
gross. Slimy. Now it's tank cues again. <laughs> God. Um. Mm, you def can be a tank. You'll just be more quick than you're tanking the floor. Oh, bears, don't, 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 don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it, Mikey. Oh, uh, full dungeon group requeuing after dungeon. Kept saying two to three DPS. May as well wait five to ten minutes for requeue. Oh God, that's a problem. I understand as a programmer is that you may be assigned to a specific party in the queue, but your client didn't get that in the info that a healer is queued in that virtual party. Right, okay. So it's it's saying one tank and zero healers when I'm queued as a healer because it's showing me the tank that I'm paired with and not me. Is that maybe? Oh, okay, gotta do some Ariel. No worries, enjoy. Uh, what do you find the quickest way to level tunes is? Uh, don't really know because I just level them with questing. I enjoy questing to level, so that's what I do. Oh, where'd my DPS go? Lord. Yeah, it must be tank cues again. It's swung. <clears throat> um, use autopilot for leveling. Exhaust to 50. Exhaust to 50. Doesn't it kick you out at level 10? Uh, can't you buy a boost and that's the fastest? Look, technically, but it's also hella expensive. Uh, what's for dinner? Anything tasty? Always. Uh, steak. Steak and veg. Wet hands of wetness. Look. Look. It's just wet. Uh, threads of fate. Do you every objective in the zone? Just next repeat. One tour guest run a day. A daily queue. Just bump rush the bosses and ignore clearing. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm not the best person to ask for fastest advice just because I um I enjoy questing and so I like I don't like trying to speed level. It's just it involves too many little fid fiddly bits and pieces, usually. Hmm. This buff and that item and blah blah blah. So I just go with it. Run out arrested, log off. Log in again next time. Shall I have question about it? Oh, fair enough. I mean, I've only done the four, but I enjoyed all of them, like, a lot. But, I don't know. That's just me, I guess. Especially with flying, good lord. They were fucked yesterday as well, Haley. The queues were really broken yesterday too. I enjoy Shadowlands Quest was super fun on release day. I agree, but um, like I've always enjoyed questing as my like leveling mode of choice, no matter the expansion. Uh, and I know that not everyone does, and that's totally okay. That's why things like Threads of Fate exist, uh, to make sure that everyone has a, a way to level that they at least somewhat enjoy. Um, but yeah, I really like questing personally. I hope you eventually get Shadowlands flying. I'm hoping that makes Shadowlands leveling feel so much better. Oh, fuck off. I don't have time for this bullshit. I swear to God. Hmm.
Poor fear indeed. I've still got 20 more tunes to get through after this one. 20 more. <clears throat> they really better fix this before the end of the event. Sounds like Jas is rummaging for measuring implements. What's so special about the Tomcat Tour thing, by the way? Uh, for me, it prevents me from accidentally queuing for anything else, like random Shadowlands dungeons or, or random dungeons or whatever it happens to be, um, because you have a button to queue for this specific event. It keeps track if you've got a, a bunch of tunes, like if you've got if you've only got two or three tunes, then sure, whatever. But if you've got fifty, like I do, five zero, um, it helps you keep track of which ones you've done and which ones you haven't, how many tokens you have across each of them. Uh, all that kind of stuff. It also alerts you if you haven't opened your box. Like if you're trying really quickly to churn through all your tunes and you forget one. <sighs> that was good. Um, like you forget to open a box. It tells you like you have a, a box you still have to open kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's useful. Oh, and Aaron Jesus. There goes that plan. Can't join the holiday event with a trial tune anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll go. Uh, to switch character you have to dungeon on and which you've switched to do and specific order updates per event. Uh, it only does um, Lovers in the Air and Lunar Festival, I believe. Um, at this point, I can't remember exactly. Um, not for me today. Oh, bugger K. Okay. Hey, Raven. Had a great birthday Friday? I did. I had a really awesome, super great birthday on Friday and it has just continued from then. Um, I've been getting so much love and presents and food and just great stuff. It's been really, really awesome. I've had a, a great time. <laughs> Fingers crossed for you to get some luck this week with Heartbreaker. Thank you. I've got as many possible things as I can do crossed because I'm just, I'm so... Ah! Ty! White pearls? Uh, no. Jelly. Coconut jelly. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Are you okay? Um, yeah. You seem like that was something you were kind of afraid of telling me. Um, well, I opened the white pearls and they seem to have some mold. I'm sorry, what? I opened the white pearls and they seem to have some mold. Um, shit. Okay, I'll come have a look after stream and we'll shoot them an Instagram message. I opened it and went. That no. doesn't look right. Yeah. <laughs> what color is it? Black. Okay. All right. Because I thought, like, if it was white, it might just be, like, solidifications yeah, like of sugar or something like that. But no, um, it, it's specifically black. Yeah, that's all right. Um, I, we will take uh, some photos, and I'll send them to them on Instagram. And um, with the order... Ah, uh, we tossed out the... Um, oh, sorry, I'll grab the order number from the website. Box is still in the... Oh, uh, yeah, so we still have the picking slip. Is what I was kind of... Because it'll have the order number on it. Yeah, that's all right. Um... That's okay. They might ask us to check the other ones. I don't know if we've got f enough room in the fridge for everything, though. Well, if it's specifically going to be the white balls, we've only got two things. I know, but then if we open both of them and the other one's okay, we have to eat them. Like, now. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. That's yeah, alright. We'll have an open thing of white pearls to use. Yeah, fair. Alright, that's okay. We'll have a look in, uh... Yes. Honestly, I was expecting pearl pearls with, uh, milk tea, but that's cool. I like it. Like I, I wanted to do the white poles because the white poles and Thai are really tasty. The white poles are very fun as well. They're a great texture. And then it was just like, oh, mm. I don't want to waste 10 minutes making pearls. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> 
What really butters my popcorn is when you grind out hundreds of attempts on a mount and someone gets the mount in like 10 attempts and has finally been trying for so long. It's like, no, no, you haven't. You are lucky. Accept your luck and fucking enjoy. Okay, I had an instant cue with the tank, so let's see if I can do it again. Fuck yeah, bitches. Come at me. We be tanking. There's only two on that list that I can't tank with. Good. Uh, based on true events. I know, right? Yeah, one of the bubble tea suggestions. You do. You do. Warehead page for Windows Mount upsetting like comments like, I got it after 22. Don't give up till it'll drop for you soon. 209 for me. For Rivendell, 209. Bad luck with the pearls recently. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we let them expire. That is on us. But then, yeah, a moldy thing of white pearls is a little unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I'll send them photograph and be like, excuse me, what is wrong with my pearls? Um, they're really, like, I've had issues with, like, uh, pearls coming, like, crushed. Um, because obviously, like, pearls, you've got to cook them, but they're, like, they're kind of powdery and they can get crushed really easily when they're in shipping and stuff. So they date, they do it as best they can to pack everything really carefully, but sometimes shit still goes wrong. Um, and so, like, if you ever have that kind of issue, they just, they're so good at fixing it straight away. It's been really awesome. And because we order big amounts at a time, sometimes we've got, like, we'll be missing a packet of tea bags or something like that, just because there's so many things. Uh, once they sent us an extra packet of tea bags. Um, but yeah, I always just let them know, and it's, like, they're fine. They're go, oh my god, I'm an idiot. I've done it again. Um, they're just, they're so good. They're so, so good. So, um, yeah. Like, you know, shit happens, especially when you're ordering tons of stuff. There's all, there's bound to have things go wrong occasionally. Um, what you want is good customer service to, to back up the, del the delicious and amazing product. And that's what they've got. They've got phenomenal customer service. So I'll just get onto them and let them know and ask their advice. I mean, it could just be, it could be some kind of additive that's separated from the juice or something like that. We, we don't know. Um, I can't tell without looking at it, of course. Um, so we'll just, we'll see how we go. Ah, oh, this is 32 for the day. Um, it's not good, not good at all. Present to you is my presence when I can watch your stream. Yas, Raven, yas. Hopefully some extra cooked bits. They're white pearls, so they don't tend to be cooked because they're like the jelly based ones, they're egg egg but um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm at over 200 people. Like, it's only 1%. You must be super unlucky. It's like, yes, yes, I am. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm super unlucky with this one. But, bitch, I got this in two, ti two tries. Like, <laughs> it's all, it, it balances. It always balances. Just so there she would get the mount. Dang, I was so sure. That's okay. It's okay. All the pearls no good. No, no bueno. Uh, I didn't want to deal with farming for Vendere. Uh, so I kept putting it off till eventually I went after it and said, fuck it, then got it first try! Yes! Well done. Well done. So I that you're getting instant cues now, it's making it really hard to quick join her! <laughs> yeah. I'm, look, I have to catch up. I gotta, I gotta catch up somehow. Like, fuck. I'm not going to catch up, catch up, but I gotta try. I gotta try. The problem is that because I had them so slowly before, they're gonna be unlocking really slowly too. Ooh. Ooh, it's gonna suck. I'll go do that now, I'm not a good luck charm. Ah, Sophia rubs your belly, no coins! I think that's how it works, yeah, oh no, no also not a Buddhist or a Buddha. Yeah, true, true that. Okay, this is tune number 33 for today. Attempt number 1,233 overall. I'll put myself through a boring ass dungeon 200 times over for a low res horse that'll only use his bragging rights at the end of the day. It's another number. Yeah, look, same. Same. 33. Right, you're right, so it's worth it. It's just, it's another number on the board. Another number on the board. Mm, what am I sitting at now? 641.
Well, I got my invincible on my first try. Yeah, yeah, because you're a fuckwit is why. Oh, it's wet on the outside, and so it's created a seal, which has popped and put fucking bubble tea all over my face. Josh, you need to dry shit, please. For the love of God, please. <laughs> you no, know, don't I? No. <laughs> One attempt on silence for me, got the mount. 32 for Invincible. Well done. Done. So this is tune number 34 for the day. Attempt 1,234. <clears throat> that it evens out, yep. It does. Really bad luck with some, really good luck with others, and others will have the reverse. Others will have the inverse. We put too much energy into it. Nah. We, we jinxed it. We jinxed it. <sighs> Next tune. Uh, I have a fear I'll never get Heartbreaker. I've got two Headless Horseman mounts. Oh, Haley. Oh, Haley. Yeah, I, I stopped running that fucking thing when I had the horse drop. <laughs> that was it. I was done. Finished. Where's, I need, because everything is wet, there's this layer of liquid just in this tiny little gap between the straw and the thing. So every time I move the straw, it pops like a bubble and it sprays my face with bubble tea and I can't, I don't want that. It's gross and I don't like it. I need to stop having wet fucking cups. Okay. Still. Let me confer with my sources. <coughs> no. There we go. That's leaving sticky shit all over my desk as well. Okay. Oh wow. Nice. Hmm. Gotten four horsemen's mounts. <laughs> Certainly didn't jinx it, someone else did. I'm so as I believed in it. I so did I. I was starting to get goosebumps and then it just didn't happen. I'm like, nah. We put we all of us cumulatively we put too much into it. Not any one individual, not no any individual's fault. It's just we as a whole, as a community, put way too much weight on that one character. Too much, too much. Uh, we got Heartbreaker, one thousand two hundred and thirty-fifth times the charm. I'll take it. You, you look, look you. <laughs> you are not wrong. You are not wrong. Uh, next thing, Drake Headless Horseman's mount before I knew they were rare. KT's Phoenix took some work, though. Only fair I lose my mind and struggle. Yes. Correct. Five TLPDs in my bank. I keep stumbling across him on the way to Ulduar. Always invite a group to kill him because I don't want to be that guy that just kills it for no reason. Um, 17 blue Drake until I got a Zua Drake. Don't talk to me about luck. Oh, excuse me. I don't think I've ever gotten a double up of a rare mount. 
don't think I've ever gotten a double up. This feels sticky. No, but my desk is. She is keeping uh, anyone else heart skip a beat every time they go to loot a mount, or is it just me? Yes, no, absolutely. 100%. Yes. Yes. Don't lose my whole priest will get the heartbreaker drop. Don't know when, but I believe she will. Mmm. Pure blood firehawk and Mimson. The thing is, before now, before like a couple months back, I didn't give a fuck about transmog. So I'd run for the mounts, and that's it. And by the time I got the mount, I would have had all the pets. So by the time I get the mount, I've got no reason to go back. But now... Now that I am interested in transmog as well, I have a reason to go back into those dungeons. And so I may start getting... Oh, fuck off. I may start getting duplicates, but I don't know. I haven't before. Never. Um, have the flying one for Phylons. It's the other one that hates me so much. Hey, Cinders, doing all right? How are you? Tell me about Mim's hair. Just let's say I've memorized every move of every boss and every line of dialogue from every NPC in the raid. Yep. Yep. So I had my luckiest week in WoW in terms of mount drops. Um, so we do mount farm Monday here. This is a bit different, obviously, because Heartbreak is two weeks only. I'm not going to do it twice. Um, but we have mount farm Monday. Um, and so, and I had invisible drop was 127 attempts or something, 125, 127, something like that. It was in the 120s, I think. I have a screenshot of it somewhere and I can never remember the number. Um, so that dropped on the Monday. Um, then on the Tuesday, Headless Horseman dropped. The next day, Headless Horseman dropped. So for the next few days, I spent time moving my 20, I think it was the 24 tunes at that point, or so, not, maybe not 24. I spent some time moving a ton of my tunes over to the Hearthstone, the, the inn, just near Ulduar. Next one on my list was Mim's Head. That Monday, the next Monday, next Mount Farm Monday, jump on, start running my tunes. Seven. Head of Mimiron. Seven. And I just looked at it, I'm like, that can't be right. It must be bugged. <laughs> that can't be right. Uh, lo and behold, it was. And that was it. I was done. Seven. <laughs> mm, I've been getting high quality. Uh, well, it's like a little How much? Like, oh, that's awesome, Cinders. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Still working on getting Jikun. I haven't put effort in for a while. I can make their own stuff. At 25 tunes, I'm able to try on precisely. Nice. Finally home. Welcome home, Jack. Welcome home. This is character number 37. After two hours and 35 minutes. Because fuck these fucking queues. You'd like, you'd love this, Jack. I queued as healer only on a shaman. And when I hovered over the thing, it said one of one tank. Zero of one healer, zero of three DPS. There's a clip of it. Because I want to ask a blizzard what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Seven is so lucky. Uh, White Hawk Strider. Uh, Swift, the Swift White Hawk Strider was seven once I started trying as well. I had tons of attempts before then, but um, I don't think I had rarity installed for those or something. But yeah, when I, uh, when I actually started trying. It took me seven attempts. Um, yeah, it's, and then 127 for, uh, well, this is one, 1,237. Limbs for the limb god. Just need to die faster. Correct. When I got first try, nice. When you get heartbreak, no, fuck you, Jason. Fuck you. Fuck you in the face with a shovel. Piss off. <laughs> no. Wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm convinced the Q isn't actually a Q. You're just rolling initiative for Q time no matter what you pick. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You get Heartbreaker in the next 100,000 attempts. I don't like that at all. 
two minutes for tank, eh? I like druids. Paladins and monks too. Somebody back to Horde will do. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Oh my god. That's fucking awesome. I will also gently re mention that it is on a one hour cooldown, but if you want to play it sooner than that, it can you can do it. It just costs you 50 bits. <laughs> Help me pay my dental bills. Uh <laughs> I hate, hate, hate leveling jewels, man. They're good for farming. They are. They really are. Right, what did I miss? Um... Oh, German that low if he likes pellies. The queue isn't the only thing that's bugged. What if the mount is bugged? No, shut up. That's not very nice. Why would you say horrible things like that? Um Give me seven daily is only way to get in under city now, yep, and you'll forget. It'll take one week and you'll forget and you'll get all lost next year as well. Just wait for it. Yeah, do you said you like them? I like them because they can queue as anything. That's literally it. Anything that can queue is anything is good in my books when I'm trying to get faster queues. Because this goddamn sucks. 38 out of 50. Uh, also that 800% AE. Because I got involved in massive issue. Oh, okay. Um, what was the sound? Fialadin. <clears throat> Bedroid for life. Easy to fix, give them a good old fashioned war, take all their money and siege down the capital a couple dozen times. With the mount shed being thrown, all positive vibes. Yas. Ah, oh, fuck. Three minutes! Piss off. Thank you. Thank you, fairy. I appreciate you. <laughs> I tabbed out, couldn't tell the difference. Ah, gotcha. Uh, just in fear, if you don't get them out, you have to wait in tight. Shush! Stop it. Hurry up and get it. I'm trying, uh, fucking 50 attempts a day. How much I'm harder can paladin. I- uh, Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> 50 attempts a day. How much harder can I- Don't. I cannot afford a second account. Literally, I cannot afford a second account. So don't even try. Um... Tables aren't flipped when you get this mount. I'll be so oh, I I will, I will flip out. I will flip out. I've had an opportunity come past my inbox recently. I'm um, not a paladin. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dupe, you are gonna go broke. Um, <laughs> I've I've had an opportunity pass through my inbox recently um, that involves potential eclipse. I would love to be able to drop a clip of this mount dropping as one of like, oh. Oh god, it'd be amazing. Oh, if, if it drops, when- I'm not a paladin. Uh... <laughs> when this drops, there will be 70 bajillion clips. I guarantee, like, almost everybody in the place will clip it. I guarantee you. I guarantee. <clears throat> Full-time fear after dentist bills page, she's gonna be back to mobs and she should get another account for 100 gems. I, yeah, for sure. For sure. If I can quit my day job, if I can quit my day job and still afford a second account, I will do it. Clip that, motherfuckers. <laughs> Clip that.
Instant cues, instant cues. It's a shame you I'm never get that clip. That is very cruel of you, Bear. How could you? How could you? How much do I gotta pay to get Jazz to say Paladin is better than DK? I don't know, you gotta ask him. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask him. There's an Aquitaine and Felina piece, I'm just vassalizing all their dukes. Gonna drop on a Paladin. This is a Paladin! <laughs> this, this is a Paladin. Uh, I want my Instagram to be flooded with fear mount drop reacts. Oh my god! And I can put it on TikTok and you can all like duet with me and come on, make me go viral. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing! Or oh, we'll clip it except for me. I'm too dumb to know how to clip! Oh my god. And Kay with the- oh, good lord. <laughs> um, actually, question, because I only implemented that sound effect today. How is it volume-wise compared to the other ones? Um... Because we, like, as much as I know it's hilarious if it's loud, I don't want it to be deafening. I don't want it to be unusually loud compared to the rest of stream. I, like, do you know what I mean? I, and I also don't want it to be too quiet. So, like, how, how are we volume-wise? 40 down. 10 to go. Come on, help him go viral. Step one, get them out. I know, it's the worst bit. Good God. The only place a paladin is better than DK is a secondary scaling department. So like a department store? Is that a, a large area? Volume was good? Awesome, Kay. Thank you. I appreciate it. The first love was a paladin. Discovered the quality of life. What the hell just happened? Oh. Upside down chat. Right, okay. Um, like my whole, just, every, all of chat just glitched the hell out when that came through because it was trying to figure out how the hell to render it, I guess. Um, this one. Moves the tiniest bit quiet, decent up. Okay, volume's perfect. Volume's good. Good volume. All right, cool. Awesome. Awesome. It's English. No, I know it is, but because it's upside down, it's not a standard for uh, not a standard font, and so um, my my Twitch box, like the Twitch chat box that I have as part of OBS, just kind of went what, and a whole uh, for one second the whole thing went blank, and then people's names loaded in, and then chat loaded back in. It just it fucked out because it couldn't understand how to render. That's all. Uh, all right. Is it a tank queue? No. Let's check healer queue first because that's what I'm in. We're on a horde side. One minute. Can we get that lower? One minute. No. No, we can't. Maybe it's just the horde cues that are broken. Mm. But hello, Colonel. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hello, Lucky. Welcome back. Not British English. It has punctuation. It fucked out and I'm stealing that saying. Yoink. I say that all the time. You are welcome to have it. I just, I will keep using it as well though. That's all. Mm -hmm. You having a great day? Get some out off the druid. Q high respect for high heartbreak mount. Ugh, I just... I just don't want to have to do these runs anymore. I just want it to stop. Ah, my other, it looks like my other yes style bits and pieces from Thingy are coming on Thursday. Oh, I'm good, just finished mostly during session of D&D, so we live jumped in to listen while I write my notes. Awesome, I hope you recover quickly. Just need the heartbreak and now everything else is done, it's great. I still have like one day of dailies to go on for you. I'm not doing them today. Uh, and then I just have to wait for the, for the tally to get where it needs to on those three tunes. In fact, where are we? Phelan's got 158, so I can buy that now. Fia's got 262, so I'll be able to buy that tomorrow. Oh, where's Alexia? 96. Should be able to buy hers tomorrow as well. Oh, crap. Wrong note. Get out. <clears throat> Uh, just 
particularly bear in Adelstead and he sounded so sad when I was killing him. I'm gonna cry. Oh no. That's not very fun. I disconnected. I think my wow was locked up. Dude, fear disconnected. Stream is fine, but um, this. Maybe I've been banned. Maybe they're like, this is your, uh, this person is running entirely too many dungeons. Clearly they need an intervention. I was like, do not collect a 4200. And then I realized where the dollar sign is. Good. <laughs> your DC'd. Good. Brilliant. That's exactly what I need right now. Bandwidth in the launcher? Yeah, I know, right? Not right now. Um, I'm only, uh, for the for the bonus streams that they're choosing to feature me, I'm only on for um, two hours at a time because they could be really quick queues and we don't know exactly how long they'll go for. So, um, yeah. Cool. So we're going to alt F for that. And try again. <clears throat> Today is just not liking me in the slightest. Ah, Jason, thank you very much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to skip that one and go down to the next one, just in case it's in the game somehow. Um, yeah, I have a YouTube channel, by the way, where I upload VODs. That's basically it, at the moment at least. <laughs> I don't have time to edit shit, so it's like, here is a VOD, and then the VOD plays. Um, so if that's something, if you, if you miss a stream, um, I mean, you've got 60 days to watch it on Twitch, obviously, but... Um, if you miss a stream or um, like the, the VODs aren't working on the Twitch app or whatever, um, or you just want, a, you've, you've got a, you know, YouTube premium account. I mean, I don't have ads on mine because I'm, I'm, although some of them have been copyright claimed. So that's a thing. But yeah, like six hour videos of just chill shit um, if you need something to fall asleep to while I'm not live. Um, I'm getting disconnected also. Oh, good. Good. If you send an adventure out, you can see you want something unique. I want to add slash turn on a YouTube command. Yeah, probably. <sighs> probably. It's like effort though. And who can exert effort in this economy? And so download them on YouTube and watch offline. Yes, offline viewing. Mm. So if you don't want to use all your data, but you want something to fall asleep to. Looks like it's helix use. <clears throat> Miss level 46 when I bring it to 50 tomorrow. And another attempt. Yes, Yori. I believe. I believe. It, it kicked the DPS. Good lord. Why? There we go. Yay, Jass. Thank you, Jass. Hmm. 
that one extra attempt could be the one. Absolutely. <clears throat> Jazz just knows how goddamn tired I've been and wants me to get off as well, like get off the stream because I'm just, I'm fucked. <laughs> I need sleep. are taking forever to die. Mm. Shink's name for Zinkius Pokemon going to be my heart mender. <laughs> Have you ever seen the mount drop for someone else on your own? No, I haven't actually. In all my 1,241 attempts, I have never seen it drop for anyone else in the group. Ever. Not once. That does that's not a good omen, is it? <laughs> that's not a good omen. Someone actually asked me that the other day, and I was kinda like, holy shit, statistically speaking, I fucking probably should have seen it. But no, not once. You have today bear. <gasps> well look, at least it exists. That's a good thing. We know it exists. We know it's not fucked up. We know it's not bugged. We know it hasn't fucked out. <laughs> uh, and this week I've seen it drop twice both for druids I mean you do leave pretty quickly not always sometimes I get too caught up in chat oh I got kicked out of the garrison I'm not a paladin uh... thank you dupe for the biddies <laughs> this is the most ridiculous sound command I swear to Christ You see, it just moved me to DPS, but I'm not queued as DPS. I think now it's moved me to tank. Every time the, cause the eye goes side to side, every time it snaps to the middle, I'm like, <gasps> and then it blinks, I'm like, you fucker. <laughs> every time, every time. Oh, no, there's more ridiculous. There are. There are. But it just... That one actually gets me. And I, I like... There are not many of our... Like, most of... I guess it's just because we've heard most of them so many times that I almost barely react to most of them. But, like, just... <clears throat> the first time that came through, I just lost my shit. I couldn't help myself. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Closure set up a succulent Chinese meal. Baby Uh, Fia, would you prefer the Heartbreaker or Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent? Heartbreaker. Because I can farm the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent every single- like, any time I want to. And I have a whole week to get my 50 attempts in. So yeah, I would rather get the heart- I'd rather the Heartbreaker just be handed to me. Um, because I think farming the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent is easier. Personally, how about you, Bear? And how about everyone else? What are your thoughts in chat? I oh, rate this true as highly. Is there a way to see your most used commands? I feel like Baby Toon would be up there. Unfortunately, not. There is, I think, a way to see the most paid for, like through the the sound alerts uh, extension. Um, but I don't think there's like most used commands. Baby Jazz rivals Baby Toon though. Um. Mm, heartbreaker 1000%. Heartbreaker, yeah, apologies. No, all good. All good, Bez. Um, it's kind of become second. This is the first time the the event has gone live with its new name. So everyone is, is you know, getting, getting a little, you know, messed up and stuff like that. I've just been trying my best to kind of reinforce the, the new name because, you know, they did it for a reason. Uh, and I think it's a good reason. Um, so, yeah, but it's okay. There's no, like, I'm not upset or anything. If I was upset, you'd be timed out. <laughs> um, 
Uh, both anything else would be preferred. Well done, nice. Look at you go. Look at you go. The heartbreaker for sure. Yeah, it's just, it's so difficult to farm. Like, I mean, like doing the runs isn't that difficult, you know, doing them every goddamn day on so many tunes. And on top of that, only being able to do it for two weeks of the year, it's just, no. Uh, I'm in a thing, Jess, unfortunately. I got I got an insta pop uh, healer queue. But thank you anyway. Next one. Next one. I'm never gonna live this down if it drops on a paladin, am I? I'd reckon the heartbreaker. Brain's no baby tune has the most played. Yeah. If I had neither, Cloud Set because it's literally my favorite man in the game. Oh, that's awesome. Like, why did they change it? Uh, firstly, the big love rocket is a sex toy. Um, but there's also uh, talks about the person who named it uh, and that person also being responsible for a lot of the more lewd jokes. Uh, also being somebody implicated in the lawsuit. Uh, and so they wanted to kind of remove that person's impact on the game and stuff like that as well. So uh, both good reasons. Plus the the icon being changed as well. Like the, the old icon looked nothing like the mount. Um, and yeah, there's a, there are, there are a few different, uh, bits and pieces. That was fast. It was very fast. Very draining. I'm only doing 35 to 40. And as soon as I start, I'm waiting for the runs to end. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. We're at two hours and 57 minutes and I'm at 44 tunes done. So we're not going to get in under the, uh, we're not getting in under the three hour mark today, unfortunately. Um... Uh, best of uh, Zoom Fear still showing Heartbreaker runs on Paladins. Absolutely not. I want all my attempts. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, great reasons. I think so. I am in agreement. Not everybody is, and that's their entitled, like, they're entitled to that opinion. But, um, no, nah, I, I, uh, I think it's a good. Yeah, you got a DPS queue, Jess. How the fuck do you manage that? Um,. Uh, hence why a whole zone was also changed. Yeah, not just the zone, but reference to the references to the zone in items, in quest chains. The voice lines haven't been changed yet, though. Uh, and I reckon that's probably just because they couldn't get the voice actors in to redo the lines. But it is interesting. It was pointed out to me, why don't they just turn off the voice line? But I think it also might be a bit jarring to be going through a quest line and have all of these voice lines and then a blank gap and then more voice lines. So, I don't know. I, I'm... I'm sure they made the choice for a reason. I don't know what that reason is, but uh, I'm sure it was probably a good one, at least to the team who did it. Um, <clears throat> Heartbreaker is a more fitting name. I feel like it is because it breaks everybody. Well, not everybody, but it breaks so many hearts uh, each year when we don't fucking get it. <laughs> I also think Heartbreaker sounds cooler in my opinion at least. I think it is, uh, personally I do as well, especially like X45 Heartbreaker. It it fits in with all of the other mechanical style mounts and things like that. It just, I, I agree, uh, but look, I can't join his party. You aren't, you, give me lead you numpty. Uh, no, I'm not doing a cataclysm fucking dungeon. Give me lead. This is why we use Tomcat, so we do not queue for Cataclysm Dungeons. <laughs> Fucking load in faster. I did! I've got no add-ons on! None! I'm loading- well, not none, but I'm loading in as fast as I can, okay? Are you queuing as tank as well, or...? You should queue- you should be queuing as just tank. Just tank. Just tank. Watch it. Watch it. See? Some somehow, after eight fucking days of this, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um. Okay, we didn't know what got in. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, it is what it is. Uh, this is why I managed to invite you to a group. Just, you know, keep your pants on, yeah? Wait till you see me in quick join and then hit the button. Easy peasy.
Welcome to Jas and I's friendship, everybody. We are both just so feisty. It's hilarious. But at the same time, we like we have great communication skills. Like we like we we've had a couple of tiffs. Like we've gotten into a couple of like proper fights. But afterwards, like once we've both cooled off, we've both kind of approached each other at the same time and been like, I'm really sorry. This is, you know, and just sat down and like talked through everything. And then everything's back to perfectly fine again. We have such an awesome relationship. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. Do not let Fry de- Oh, it's the, like, there's an AFK demon hunter at the top of the stairs. If it resets, I'm gonna be angry. I'm gonna be all sorts of angry. I'm not healing them anymore. They can just sit there. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Um, they're still in the dungeon though. Oh well. Uh love to see it. The stairs and the reason. I know, but like I'm nervous. After the couple of times that happened yesterday, I do not want. Do not want. Um If Blizzard gave you the option to have any mount in the game that is TCG and removed as well as current, what would you choose? Honestly, I don't really know too much about the, excuse me, about the TCG mounts because I know I can't get them and so I haven't really paid much attention to them. But I know that there is a rooster. <laughs> I know there's a giant rooster. And that one sounds fun. But, um, yeah, beyond that, I'm not too sure. I'd have to have a look. Chicken mount, 100%. Who cares, it's gonna take you three minutes to kill the dang bosses. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. <clears throat> I just shoot around all the way around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chicken Man 100%. A friend of mine has the rooster. Um, like, I've got Spectral Tiger. So that's, like, off the- wait. How did I enter 21? How did- what? The DC must have skewed the clock. We're just gonna not say anything. That does probably mean I'm gonna have to wait for the next one, though. Nope. To anyone here who is a streamer who is starting out, who is who has ever considered purchasing follows or viewers or s primes why would you buy subs that doesn't make any sense um don't do it don't do it you will get banned it is against the twitch toss um you will get banned uh if you're trying to buy stuff to get over a threshold to be accepted into either the affiliate or the partner program Twitch can see what the fuck you're doing. They have access to all of your stats for all time. They are going to be able to see when numbers aren't matching up. It is not worth it. It's not worth it. Just put the work in. You will get there. It will be far more worth your time. Um, it is it is a bannable offense, and half the time it's fucking fake anyway. When <clears throat> DC happened... No, I didn't enter an instance though, did I? Or was I entering an instance or was I, um... I thought I was zoning, I thought I was logging into the character. I could be wrong though. subs is still okay they're right oh yeah gifting subs to each other and stuff like that absolutely um but yeah no um purchasing them from like a website no bueno no bueno 
I don't know. Three left, just three left. Go, go, go. You got this. Oh, thank you, Haley, for the for the encouragement. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you've entered about 21 instances recently. And approaching the 10 instance lockout. Yeah, thank you, saved instances. You have no idea what you're doing, but that's fine. <clears throat> Morning, I've been away a few days. Give me the good news about the mount hunting. Nothing yet. 1,247 attempts. This is character number 48 for the day, and attempt number 1,248 in total. No fucking mount. <laughs> ah, good will to impose on yourself on the internet. If it's a function the website officially offers, like sub gifting, it's allowed. Yeah, you can't gift primes though. That's not a thing. Fear, do you have silent glider? I don't think so. Maybe? Exclamation simple armory. One word will get you my simple armory website. So you can see everything I have and do not have. Uh, this is insane. No one deserves it more. Go oh. There are absolutely people who deserve it more than I do, but I reckon I'm up there with them. So <laughs> I'm getting there. 50 characters. 50 attempts a day. <laughs> 42 attempts. <laughs> Yeah, it has to have double counted something because it keeps putting me in at a 21, so one of them must be fake. There's no double ups there. This is really interesting. I do love that it gives you like a full list of all of the instances and how long until they expire. But yeah, there's no there's no double up on that list. That's really interesting. <gasps> Maybe that's why the queue's broken, because they've removed the the ten cap for for the for this, and 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 um, it's broken something in the queue. We can hope, right? Halfway through the event is a terrible time to do that, but it could happen. 49 of 50. Love your optimism. I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> that'd be amazing. Not that it really bothers me because I just do my 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, but um, still, you know, could be interesting. Hope in this economy, look, sometimes it's all we can afford, Zam. It's all we have. <laughs> Mm, nothing today. Always tomorrow. Absolutely, Haley. Last one for me. This is my final attempt. The thing I like most about the optimism is maybe they broke something. Yeah, but maybe they broke something doing something else good. Uh, Usually not a good thing historically. Yeah, look. Let's see who said declare. Ah, oh, interesting. Why is this queue fucked? What have we done this time? Maybe reset today and tomorrow we'll sort the issues out. Well, look, they had the same, well, not the same, but very similar issues yesterday. 
So I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one, but it would be really, really nice if they did. News just in, apparently everyone is getting the heartbreaker on EU servers. That's, that would suck. That would suck. <clears throat> 45 attempt says lies. <laughs> Zam is EU, FYI. What the hell is wrong with this queue? Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> Better. It's having trouble finding like just DPS. Everyone's grouping up to try to get fast cues. Dum dun dun. Last tune, twenty-seven minute queue. I just want to lie in bed and play Pokemon. Like, why is why is this so difficult? I'm delaying your fine. Wants me to play longer. They know I'm gonna keep playing. I'm on the fucking launcher for Christ's sake. I just got all the wisps. Ah, nice! Grats on the fancy rock. Good morning, Gabri. Welcome back. What the actual fuck is going on with this queue? <laughs> Queuing as everything. Fuck yeah. Queuing as everything. Fuck yeah. I love that Jas is taking note of what I'm doing and then doing the same or like the the meat. Like, yep, good. Jas knows how to do this shit. You look what both in there is doing. Mm. This would be fucking hilarious if we both get DPS queues. Excuse me. Excuse me again. I'm so sorry. What are we doing tomorrow? Oh, we're doing pets tomorrow. Oh, I'm excited. Yay! I get to collect more shit tomorrow after my runs, obviously. I'm um, you going below in your comment. Yeah. If, if only. If only. If only. I reckon though, if I got it through a bug where literally everyone was getting it, I would feel like my my Eureka moment was stolen. You know? Like it'd just It'd feel like shit. All this hard work and then just everyone gets one. It's like a participation badge, you know? Mm, I don't know. I don't like that at all. I'd still take the mountain run. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. I would absolutely still take the mountain run, but um, it would still just, it would not feel as good. There's no amount and they changed it, everyone got it. Oh, but um, they changed it on like day two. It had not, the, the event had not been in. Let's try this again. 
The event hadn't even been live for 24 hours when they changed it. It was a bug. It was supposed to be a guaranteed drop. Oh, not, maybe not the mount. Maybe it was the toys. The toys were meant to be a 100% drop, I think. Or well, the mount, I can't remember exactly. But yeah, it was, they changed that very fucking quickly. Like, very quickly. Um, if I get Rivendell's lame charger here, I will gift five subs. Oh, lovely. Don't, don't like, um, just, I mean, obviously I'd be grateful. Obviously grateful for financial support, helping pay my bills, all that kind of stuff. Um, but like, don't, don't put cash on the line if, if you're like financially not doing the best, you know what I mean? Like, don't put out something that you don't, that you shouldn't be, if you know what I mean? Take care, like the number one rule here is take care of yourselves before you take care of fear. That's like, that's the big thing. Yeah, so just as long as you're, the, this, this queue is broken. It's like actually legitimately broken. If I do this, I wonder if it gets group queue. Okay, three minutes for tank. One minute for healer. Two minutes. It's a longer Q tank than DPS. Are you? Oh my god. Frank, you seems to be taking the longest. Oh, I've had longer than this, but. I'm actually noticing because I'm so close to the end and I want to go. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, no, 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 not the rocket, Gabri, not the rocket. This was uh, the anniversary event last year in November. Mount was going to be 5%. I realize people are going to be mad if they got through the whole thing on their one two and didn't get them out. Yeah. All oh, the old anniversary mounts were one year only and were a 100%. Yeah. Like there were rewards from a quest and shit like that. Financially fine. Okay, good. That is, that is my, my big, yeah. As long as, as long as. Taking care of fear. Try taking the leader tick. There is no leader tick here. Um, and when I did that last time, watch this. It unticks it. Let's try doing it through here. Yeah, still one minute. Honestly, I think most people have that flag ticked anyway. Um, so it's, yeah. I don't actually think it has too much of a bearing on queue times. You missed the anniversary round? Oh, okay. Oh, I just wants to close eyes and such. Like, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really tired. I've had a big day. Good day, but big day. Uh, and I would like to rest. <laughs> I had to buy my friend five WoW tokens. He got the green proto as his first attempt. So, I oh my god. Yeah, I Jesus Christ. Aw, Lenda! Lenda, thank you for the donation! My god. You're taking care of Endeavor to contribute this Aw, oh, thank you! I'm not a paladin, uh... I mean, also that. <laughs> there we go. God, the cues are just broken. The cues are just broken. Thank you, Duke, for the biddies. Hello, Hat. Doing well, thank you. How are you? Welcome back. So wait for someone just to sign lead to someone. Yeah. Piss off! Stop declining the queue, you numpties. <laughs> Why you do? Should K Ember's well spent? Indeed, Zam. Indeed. Um. You you have net me a couple bucks worth of bits <laughs> in a day. Oh dear me. Oh, I'm a healer. Shit. Oh, you're the tank. I don't care. You'll be fine. We'll fight for. We'll fight for control. Fight for aggro. You're <laughs> fighting. I indeed, indeed. No, no need to apologize. Secrets fine. You're just excited. Microphone looks cool. What is that? Oh, <laughs> so I'm not actually using this microphone. I have a studio mic up here, but the G733 has like a detachable microphone arm. It's got like a 3.5 jack on the end of it. And you can buy uh, mic covers, microphone covers. They kind of act like a pop filter. Uh, you know, if you've ever seen like the foam things on top of like on mics or like the shields in front of them, it's a pop filter so that when you do your like tease and stuff like that, it doesn't get that like crackle. Yeah, 
So it's kind of like that, but it's also in a fun shape. This one's a Christmas tree. I don't think you can buy the Christmas ones. This pack was sent to me as a Christmas in July gift from Logitech last year. Um, but there's a whole bunch of Christmassy ones, like a gingerbread man and stuff. And Sheba asked for deforestation as the mic cover today. So I got the tree, but I turned it upside down to like, cause it's down the, yeah, good. 50 attempts today. 1,250 attempts total, 400 attempts this year so far, no heartbreaker. I'm out, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> one moment while I find somebody to raid, I know I have a ton of hydrates and other redemptions and stuff sitting there. If I haven't been able to get to your redemption so far today because busyness and shit like that, um, I will refund you. You'll get the points back. No harm done. Um, to where will we go? Uh, hang on, I think I've done the wrong thing here, actually. I have. One moment, please. Perfect. Okay. Um. I think we go here. Decision made. All right. In case you're new here, uh, I'm streaming every day for Lovers in the Air because I want the Heartbreaker and I don't want it to drop off stream because I would hate myself for that. Want some of my jungle love. This is what's going on. Today is a short stream because I don't usually stream on Tuesdays. I worked today. Usually my Tuesday, Thursday evenings are off, but not, not this month. So we had the Heartbreaker farm today. I'm done, so I'm logging off. Tomorrow we're going to start with the Heartbreaker Farm, heading into some pet farming. I have nearly 2,000 uh, polished pet tokens to spend, so we're going to spend up those and go get some new pets. I'm excited. Thursday, Heartbreaker Farm, then off. Friday, Heartbreaker Farm, then off. Friday is a normal stream day for me, but I'm seeing my mum for the first time in two years on Friday. She is driving up to Brisbane. She's on her way with my stepfather as well, and I'm very much excited to see them. So I'm going to be doing a very early, a very early Heartbreaker stream, uh, and then going and having dinner with them on Friday night. I'm going out for lunch with them on Saturday, and then doing an evening Heartbreaker stream farm run thing. And then on to Sunday, uh, where I'm going to have breakfast with them. I'm going to have breakfast with them, and then have my normal stream time on Sunday with some Xmog. Transmog hunting as well. Uh, wrapping around to Monday, which will be Heartbreaker Farm again, plus Mount Farm Monday, extended into the final three hours of Heartbreaker I'm Farming. Holiday, no. The final three hours of Heartbreaker Farm, which I may or may not have to do, but we'll see. I'll be going until approximately four in the morning if I have to. Um, and then next Wednesday is more than a week from now, so I'm not gonna talk about it. If you've enjoyed it here, why not drop us a follow? If you've enjoyed it here and you've dropped a follow, why not drop us a follow on Instagram? I want to be a full-time streamer. I want to be a full-time content creator. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that is to get some brand deals to help pay my bills. And 80% of brand deals come through Instagram. So I know it doesn't seem like much and it seems a little bit silly, but I promise you it is worth more than you will ever know. I'm would... not a paladin. No. <laughs> Fuck. I would very much appreciate any and all follows I can get on Instagram, as well as Twitch, Facebook, and TikTok. But Instagram is the really big one that I'm trying to focus on growing at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed tonight. Uh, we are going to drop a raid. There you go. Grab your copy paste. Oh, good. I'm she already did it. Jesus fucking Christ. Good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying that one. Help me pay my dental bills. I actually had to, I, $2,550 today I spent on a surgeon. It's gross. I don't like it. Anyway, um, so drop some love in Hydrax's channel when we get there. Copy, paste, kabam. If you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, delete, replace with your favorite happy, happy celebratory emote. And I'm going to see you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time or down below, click Fiamma, click schedule, 
check your time zone. Twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma forward slash schedule if you want to type it into your your word box at the top there. <laughs> God. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. I'm going to bed. Bye! Oh, stop.